from the top, thanks to our drone, of uh, Ordino. Ordino, as I said before, epicenter, lakes, rivers. 92% of, uh, of the territory is uh, salvage, is open. Uh, there is uh, the refugee and uh, the arrival on, uh, on that uh, first uh, refugee for, uh, for them uh, getting uh, up uh, to the Plata de Stein. They were still uh, together climbing along uh, one of those uh, beautiful mountain uh, river, mountain falls, waterfalls they have all around the country. You've seen the, the yellow flags. Have a look, the way they're using the poles, very uh, different system. One is using them uh, both poles at the time, and the other one just uh, alternative, uh, one uh, uh, in front of the other. Beautiful view from the top. We're talking about uh, the country of the mountains, and this is uh, a mountain country, definitely. The efforts and uh, the climb, uh, I mean, uh, a very, uh, very um, tough and demanding uh, race, definitely. You know that uh, it's the shortest distance uh, of uh, the older calendar of uh, the UTMB uh, World Series events, who are offering four stones on the 105 Ks because of uh, the difficulty. Always smiling, always shining is uh, Chila Perez. Here she is. Images uh, also of uh, some more uh, ladies uh, we have uh, on uh, on the track. I remind that uh, Ildiko Femesher is the lady on uh, the lead at the moment of uh, of uh, the um, the race on uh, the ladies category. She was uh, the bet of uh, of uh, Christine Berglund, the uh, Swedish uh, trailer who was not able to take the start yesterday as she has some uh, physical uh, problem and she took the tough decision not to take part but she's been kind enough to be with us uh, yesterday during uh, uh, almost an hour uh, talking about the race about uh, her situation and experience and uh, that was uh, very kind of her and we asked her to uh, to bet uh, on um, on the winning lady for uh, for today and uh, she said uh, she put it her bet on the uh, on uh, Ildiko Vermesher, bit number 440. And it seems that at the moment uh, it was quite a good bet because uh, she's uh, the woman uh, leading se second okay. position uh, of Chila Fernandez. We have her on the, on the screen again. This is in uh, the uh, live base in, uh, in um, Andorra La Bella in uh, Park Central. When she uh, entered and uh, and stopped, there she took time uh, to get change and uh, to uh, organize herself. But there was a little change because uh, the the pushing uh, girls entered at that time. She was leading, but uh, then uh, the uh, pusher they were uh, Ildiko Fermesha, Basilia Foster, and uh, also uh, Mariana Plavan, the uh, two Italian girls took the occasion uh, to uh, pass because they, they hardly stopped and uh, rushed to go on. At the moment, the order is a little bit changed on the, on the head of the race as uh, Ana Simon uh, Baulenas, Ana Simon Baulenas, the Spaniard, took the fourth position. Still images of uh, this uh, live base uh, down in uh, Andorra la Bella. And uh, time to drink, to eat, to get a little uh, very fast massage before uh, Chila take the, the lead again and take uh, hit the road again. Yeah, and here is entering a smiling Ildeko uh, Fermesha, uh, as we say, very near. And uh, here, that's when you see what where the thing are changes with the ladies, because uh, she will uh, she will uh, not stop, let's say, and uh, then the gap uh, the gap uh, change uh, very uh, very quickly. The the three ladies uh, of the of the head of the race at that moment, Iliko Fermesha, that we've seen uh, with the Oka. Yeah, this is the Fermesha we've seen first. Then we've seen uh, Chila Fernandez. We've seen uh, the Italian, uh, the Italian girl also. And that were uh, 
the things has been uh, changing a little bit on the on the head of the ladies competition but they still had a lot of uh, kilometers to cover we are now uh, seeing what happened uh, during uh, the night with uh, the men uh, the main uh, the men race also here uh, we recognize uh, uh, Oscar Poyuelo Bageste the Spaniard and here is Zach Miller the man uh, who was uh, on the lead at this moment he lost the lead uh, he, uh, sorry, he took the lead on uh, the Col de la Botella after uh, he's been second during uh, all the first uh, section. He took the lead at that moment and uh, he's been uh, fighting uh, from that moment. Sebastian Krovic was, uh, uh, the, was at the lead until Col de la Botella. Then he took the second position and from there... The two guys has been uh, fighting, has been giving a great fight. And, uh, well, we've been um, in emotion until the very last moment. You can appreciate what was uh, running in the night because in the night it was already uh, cloudy. As you can see, as we explained before, uh, the weather changed a little bit. Oh, that's uh, painful images from uh, Sergi Pasquet Bastida. He was uh, the first underrun uh, guy local on his playground he was so happy uh, to be joining in uh but uh, he had uh, this uh, problem uh, and uh, then uh, was uh, lambert lambert santelli no sorry it's lambert santelli the french guy who was not able uh, to pursue i was uh, I was wrong on, on the face because uh, um, Sergi Pasquet Bastida from Andorra also had to drop on uh, on the same uh, head station. We're here uh, on the top of uh, the uh, on the Grau, the uh, refugee of uh, the. Gra uh, we are on the Grau Roche. That was the second uh, live station, and that was over for uh, for the the French guy who was uh, notable uh, to go on. After he had uh, this um, this problem, we can see here how they put a a, a bandage. Well, th it's a uh, very very uh, tough. Here images of uh, of um, uh, Yonel Christian Manole, also Yonel uh, Christian uh, Manole, who was to finish uh, third. And beep number 445, uh, Lambert Santelli, trying to go on even with this uh, uh, problem on his uncle. Here we have a vision of uh, the uh, red bags. As you know, they had uh, two different bags. Yeah, that, that are sad moments when you have to drop and, uh, and finish with a race when you had uh, such, uh, such an illusion put it in, uh, in it. But uh, definitely was not possible for him to go on. We can see uh, the arrival of uh, the Camus brothers, the French uh, brothers. They uh, they did a beautiful finish uh, uh, here in uh, Ordino. Their father were, was uh, waiting for them. And uh, they have all the time. We can see father and a friend of the family also there uh, helping. On the change, uh, uh, I had the pleasure to see them uh, three weeks ago in uh, uh, the Milfont Trail in the Alps, in the French Alps. And, uh, well, they are training. They belong to a team very interesting, the uh, Garmin Adventure Team. It's a team of four men and two women, and their goal is to cover all uh, the... Um, uh, World Series events by UTMB, the 25 of them, and uh, one uh, was uh, two weeks ago in Saint-Jacques, um, and uh, Olivier is going to be in uh, in, in uh, the uh, Vaidaran, and then the complete team, they're all in different events, and the complete team will gather in August in uh, Chamonix, so uh, they're there they are on the fight, and uh, they did it, they did uh, quite well. The truth, because uh, they did uh, finish in uh, in the top ten today in uh, in the, the scratch. Obviously, uh, they took uh, the position of uh, six and uh, yeah, fifth and sixth. The Camus brother. 
other images, and now we're uh, on uh, the pre-start uh, for the 50Ks. We remind you that we have uh, the second uh, start, the second race, the 50Ks that was starting this morning at uh, 8 o'clock when... Uh, the uh, well, <laughs> it was a bit difficult to cut the ribbon. You can appreciate the colors of uh, the um, the Andoran uh, flags. Uh, the, this smile was the smile of uh, of um, one of uh, the ladies on uh, the lead uh, at the mo the lady on the lead at the moment, uh, Angel Yobera, the trailer from uh, Mallorca, who's uh, one of the favorite uh, name uh, sounding for the for the win here with uh, Silvia Pucharnau and uh, at the moment, uh, well, it's confirmed as uh, Angel Yobera uh, is on uh, the lead uh, of the 50Ks for the ladies' race. So that was uh, what happened uh, this morning. There was a lot of ambience. It was, I mean, it was uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, but the public, the public was there and the public was, uh, was supporting. And uh, yes, uh, we had a, a, a great... Uh, a great moment also with the start. We can see now the start, uh, different, uh, the one from uh, this uh, 50Ks where they go. They, w they went, uh, <coughs> sorry, straight away to a steep uh, section, quite uh, a wide pass at the beginning so the, the flow can uh, stretch by and by. And uh, the, the, uh, the situation... Uh, on uh, on this uh, 50 on this 50k was uh, quite uh, quickly defined with uh, the the head of the the race uh, as i said uh, for the ladies with uh, angel yobera and for the men with uh, ricardo certa this is uh, the way to the pic de l'estain where from they have a wonderful view one of uh, the refugees And uh, beautiful view from the top of uh, the head of the race when it was uh, already uh, stretching images of this 92% uh, uh, of n pure nature we have in Andorra. And this is uh, the pass uh, of uh, Zach Miller on uh, the very uh, last uh, control in uh, the refugee of uh, Sestein and there was a very important moment of the race because uh, he had on the last control he had almost 20 minutes gap on uh, on the second on uh, Sebastian Krovic and there he heard that Sebastian Krovic was already in view and by the way Sebastian Krovic cross uh, entered the, the um, exit sorry exit from uh, the same point the same refugee only four minutes after Zach Miller and Zach Miller said that uh, uh, I had something twisted in my mind and he started like 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 the wind uh, to the downhill for the last kilometers and uh, he increased the gap again on another 12 minutes to finish uh, like 15 minutes ahead from uh, Sebastian Kravi and it's funny because during all this uh, downhill we had the occasion to see him turn his head looking over his shoulder again and again because he was so surprised by the fact that uh, Sebastian Kravi was uh, so close after him only four minutes uh, here he had a, a little encounter with a dog, but it was uh, nothing. Well, with us mountain, some supporters along the way, cheering, supporting, and the typical uh, houses of uh, Andorra. Beautiful, beautiful playground. Yeah, really, definitely a fantastic uh, and emotional experience we're living here. In, uh, in Andorra, in uh, Ordino, much, much, much especially. Still uh, going on uh, the two races, because uh, as you know, we're going to have them uh, on, uh, the, on the way until uh, Sunday for the, uh, for the longest uh, distance, Sunday uh, almost uh, midday. And uh, here is uh, the pass of uh, the man uh, who was uh, to be a third, uh, Christopher Clemente. Yes, uh, he's uh, 
resting a little bit you in the, oh, sorry it's uh, Yanel Cristian Manoli my my uh, my fault Yanel Cristian Manoli who was to take the third position here he is he took like uh, half a minute to sit down but then uh, he did uh, the road uh, as well to finish on the third step of the podium uh, he was really really tired uh, on the finish line here we get uh, Christopher Clemente uh, he was uh, to be fourth and we can see him uh, there uh, on the on the top before uh, hitting uh, and here we got uh, the first uh, first lady yes Ildiko Fermesha was uh, from the Oka team here she is first uh, first lady and uh, she's keeping she's keeping the lead and increasing the gap by moment the hungarian uh, girl yeah we remind uh, her our finisher in uh Pisan extreme in uh, 2021 she's finisher of the tds also uh, last year in uh, chamonix finisher on uh, of uh gross glockner ultra trail also in 2021 we can see uh, it's it was uh, much more windy when uh, the head of the ladies race was passing on the refuge of sautain and uh, the the weather the weather really definitely changing you can see it's much colder everybody uh, put uh, the the bonnet and uh, and uh, the anoraks on and uh, and the wind the wind that is uh, present sky are getting uh, louder and louder and uh, we have the classifications so far. Ildiko Vermesher, Silvina Chila Perez, and uh, Basilia Furster. So uh, we're uh, talking about uh, Hungary, Argentina, and Italy. An international podium so far for the 105Ks for the ladies' uh, classification at the moment. When uh, we expect uh, her here, uh, well, let's see. Not uh, so far from now. Maybe uh, another, maybe another hour to to get her here. And more images. Now we're back on uh, the area, the area of uh, the finish line. You can see this uh, beautiful uh, lead. Uh, arch with um, with images uh, rolling all the time and the name of the main uh, sponsors around this edition 2022 and at the back on the left side what you see is a is a big screen where they get uh, images uh, sometimes live images from that uh, finish line area and sometimes uh, the images we are uh, showing to you uh, here on uh, on uh, Facebook in uh, this uh, 50 case, we have to uh, explain that uh, we had in the last minute the entrance of uh, uh, the uh, the entrance of um, of uh, Jordi Gamito, who was uh, supposed to be in uh, Chamonix, and as he's been uh, cancelled, he had the occasion uh, to come, uh, and uh, we he didn't even think twice. He took uh, the van, and uh, he did he hit the road all the way uh, down to uh, Andorra from the Alps, from the Alps to the Pyrenees, to beyond the start this morning. He arrived uh, here in uh, Ordino uh, yesterday night. More images of, uh, the, of Zach Miller. Look, look the way he was pushing on the last meter. He knew already that he was to win, but he still had this uh, impression that... Uh, that the pusher was uh, closed, that uh, Sebastian Corruiz was at the back. Look at that, pushing, giving everything he's got, giving the rest. The fighter is back. The fighter is under the arch, is again a champion on a race. And we're talking about long distance races. Uh, I mean, he was so, uh, so happy. It was a mix of uh, emotion. By the way, he, he cried. He really cried on, on, on the finish line because uh, it was the victory of the mantle. It was the coming back. And uh, it was even though he, was, uh, he wanted to be a, as optimistic as he could uh, before the start, uh, he, he, he confessed that he has the doubt. He was here as a test to see if he's, if he's really back on good shape. If... Uh, and it was a test for the, the physical and for the spirit and for the mental. 
but main of all, most of all, the spirit he needed uh, to uh, to confirm his uh, situation. Sebastian Krovig, uh, the Norwegian from the Dynafit team, was taking there the second position. He finished really tight, and uh, amazingly, um, Zach Miller, who pushed crazily on the, on the last downhill, finished fresher than the second man. And uh, we explained, uh, he took back another 12 minutes gap only in this descent. Uh, uh, there, there was a nice moment of conversation in between uh, winner and uh, vice uh, champion. While uh, we can see here uh, uh, Christopher Clemente, who was uh, to take uh, that uh, fourth position. Here uh, is uh, the arrival of uh, Yonella Christian from uh, Romania is uh, finishing and uh, yeah a great great uh, great finish for him Yonel Cristian Manole the Romanian guy uh, living uh, nearby on the Sierra in the mountain uh, uh, around uh, Madrid for many years and now the last uh, the last section for uh, Christopher Clemente doing uh, a very great job to assuring this uh, fourth position. Uh, we've been seeing him, seeing him uh, using the pole again a little bit and, uh, on the last uh, uh, ground section. And here he was entering with this uh, uh, stone path. We still uh, can't see the ribbons uh, on the side. And uh, you can see on the very side of the, the image the the wheel of uh, the the bike as we had a camera on the bike he's been uh, entering the finish line smiling we've been able to hear his uh, daughter uh, shouting crazy to receive her daddy she was the one to hang him uh, the the medal and uh, well he was uh, he was uh, happy to be here here we have uh, the podium again uh, Zach Miller from United States uh, brand new winner here on the 105 case Sebastian uh, Krovik from Norway, from the Dynafit uh, team, taking the second position and the third position for the Romanian Ionella uh, uh, Christian Manole, living in Spain. So beautiful uh, international podium. And, and as, uh, as we were ex uh, explaining, we are heading for an international podium in the ladies uh, category too. Another uh, plan all about the refugee of uh, Sortein, this uh, beautiful area as you can see uh, wood and we see it again and again but uh, uh, only 8% of this uh, wonderful uh, country the country of the mountains only 8% is covered by uh, building or, or is uh, farmed the rest but the rest is uh, just salvage uh, nature look this is uh, the the track and as uh, Zach Miller said before the start, as he had uh, the occasion to practice during one week, and he's been uh, discovering the complete track section by section. He says one of the most beautiful track he's seen in the world, and uh, but uh, he said also uh, also a very tough and demanding one. So um, these guys they've been doing a great great job uh, arriving, crossing the finish line much under the the expected time and uh, really, really uh, a great, great, great finish. A beautiful uh, podium, and uh, we can uh, really be proud about this uh, edition, an edition where uh, the number of uh, inscriptions is almost double than what we had uh, last year. You can see the profile down here, and they were explaining how this uh, double uh, uphill at the beginning was uh, tough, but it was uh, still uh, during the end of the day. Remind you, the start was 7 in the afternoon, so the temperature was quite all right. Uh, they were getting on top. They see the, the sunset that is beautiful. Then the rest was during the night. And, um, uh, well, they've been uh, talking about the last downhill that was really, really uh, tough for many of them. We've been talking with the Camus brothers, the two French guys from the uh, Garmin Adventure team, and they said that that, was, uh, that last descent was... Uh, was a killing one, really. And uh, the flag of uh, the blue flag of the uh, UTMB, uh, the UTMB Trail 100 Andorra by UTMB, the blue flags uh, are 
really flying, flying in the wind. As uh, you can appreciate that the sky is no longer uh, blue. We turn to gray. Uh, we are expecting maybe uh, water this afternoon. We are expecting maybe rain. Definitely the temperature has been uh, lowing down. And, uh, and uh, well, we have to think about all these guys and girls who are going to be uh, during the night, the second night for them in, uh, in the mountains. We were talking about uh, the, the fauna and the flora, beautiful horses, uh, free in the mountain. Also, they are not savage. You can see they are wearing bells. But they can, uh, free, uh, they, they're quite free to go uh, in a uh, big uh, extension. Some area are uh, obviously uh, cut it with a little uh, electrical, very low voltage uh, electrical uh, things. Esparguets. Uh, we have the espar esparguets. The esparguets. Sorry, they are uh, they are very high structure. We, if, if you see, we have the chance. Yes, to see the horse by. Look how high they are. I don't know. Like, you look at the high horses. Like like three horses, one on top of the other. It's six, eight meters. Uh, they are the the copy of the shape of uh, this iron. They put in the window in the traditional houses here in uh, in um, in Andorra, and the name means uh, to uh, uh, stop to avoid the thieves. So the idea is that you have these three iron. Normally you get three. You might have one if the window is very narrow. Normally you get two or three, and uh, it's in uh, uh, on the on the window side so uh, no one can enter through the window right it was a defense and it's coming from ancient ages from uh, from the middle age there was yeah, already tradition we have to remember that uh, andorra is um, a country that is uh, in a natural uh, frontier as the pyrenees uh, is uh, this natural border in between france and spain but uh, andorra who's a principality uh, we have to remember that it's an independent country, and uh, from the Middle Age, they succeed to stay independent. They didn't want to be French, they didn't want to be Spanish. They're from Andorra, and it's a beautiful country they have, really. We can see some uh, supporters getting on top on the, uh, to some refugees, in this case the refugee of uh, Sautain, in order to, uh, to support the... Uh, Trailers who are going to passing by, oh, maybe shorts is not enough. Huh? Uh, you need the jacket and you need something to cover your head. This is getting colder up there. A.K. back on uh, the leading lady uh, ar arrival uh, to the uh, refugee of uh, Sortain, we get uh, uh, Ildiko Fermesha from uh, Hokatim the Ergarian. Remind you, she's in a 55-59 age group. There she is. And uh, she was a finisher of Pisao Extreme in 2021, finisher of the TDS 2021, and she's going to get her ticket, uh, obviously, finisher of Gross Glockner Ultra Trail in the same year. Look, she hardly stopped. She's been drinking a little bit, and that's it. That was it. And uh, now she's in the last section from the, that uh, refugee. Uh, it's almost uh, completely downhill for the last uh, eight kilometers. So it means that uh, that's our last reference. We're going to have her here back, uh, I guess, uh, very soon. We're going to keep an eye on uh, the situation of uh, the ladies. Yes, uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, yeah, she passed sort of in uh, seven minutes uh, to one. So... Uh, almost quarter an hour ago, so uh, well we we will have her here, in uh, well depending on uh, the rhythm and less than uh, one hour we can have her here, and uh, that will be a great finish for the ladies too. A beautiful race they are doing a, a nice fight and an international podium we're waiting for with uh, this uh, victory definitely for uh, from uh, for Hungary a second position for Argentina, and a third position, if nothing changed, for Italy. 
we have uh, to keep an eye also on uh, the Lady Euros race uh, and of the main race of the 50Ks as uh, f we are expecting both uh, first lady of the 105 and first man of the of the 50Ks. Mm, there might be, a, in this case, uh, we might have uh, the, uh, the arrival uh, quite uh, nearby. I'm uh, trying uh, to get, uh, yeah. We get uh, the man on the lead uh, very uh, near. And uh, yes, I'm tr trying to get uh, some more information about uh, the the head of uh, of the race. Yes, for the men now we get a uh, Ricardo Certa, Marty Lazaro, Paul Matthew, Berna Valentin, and Jordi Gamito Baos in the fifth position. But uh, I'm trying to uh, to refresh. Uh, this uh, information in order to, uh, to give you uh, some more details about, about it. About the head of the ladies, uh, no change at the time. Still uh, Angel Llobera from uh, Mallorca, from the Balearic Island. While we uh, go back on, look, look what images, I mean. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you come to uh, Andorra once, you will come again and again and again. Uh, many people get these images from the winter with everybody skiing and the snow everywhere. But look, look what a beautiful spring they have. Flowers everywhere. Also uh, green, uh, the colors is green and gray because you get the gray of the rocks, the gray of the, of the roofs and of the buildings, the, the house, the little uh, chalet and uh, the refuges in the mountain and all the shades of green you can imagine also these uh, colors of the of the rivers of the waterfalls all around everywhere uh, 10,000 million lakes i would say you got water everywhere and uh, yes it, it's uh, definitely a beautiful uh, country the second position for the ladies race is uh, still for jelena malizeva third position uh, for maite lucia lopez fernandez so in order of, uh, of uh, countries, uh, we have uh, uh, Mallorca, Spain, we have Lithuania, and uh, we have uh, Argentina. Fourth position is for Spain again with uh, Gemma Sanabria Martinez. And the fifth position, uh, closing this uh, top five, is Ariadna Casajuana Costa. And uh, we're back on the, the beautiful image of the, the bell tower of the church here in the center square of Ordino, when you can, uh, where I can hear, hear from the studio, the uh, public cheering uh, another uh, finisher on the line of uh, finisher of, uh, of the 105 uh, kilometers. We have uh, uh, the arrival uh, after the uh, Kami brothers who took uh, fifth and sixth position. Uh, we remember that uh, Oscar Poyuelo took the seventh position. Ginés Arroyo Moreno took the eighth position. The French uh, Walid Pinson took the ninth position. Agustin Baviera Pascual for Spain, the tenth position. So far, we had 12 men who passed, uh, who crossed the finish line with uh, Fabien Contré and uh, Gerard Morales, Gerard Morales that we see now. Uh, Gerard More Morales uh, <laughs> received by his uh, dogs uh, seventh in the Marathon des Sables this year. This guy from uh, the uh, eastern uh, part of uh, the, the Pyrenees, uh, seventh, seventeenth uh, position in uh, at the Mute in Madeira, where I had the, the pleasure to receive him in, uh, this year in uh, 2022, and. Um, a guy who had a reference about the, the race because uh, he was forced in the trail on the Rapyrenees last year in 2021. They're talking uh, out the microphone, I cannot uh, and get uh, the sound. But I think is, uh, he was uh, showing his uh, right foot. Probably he's been uh, stumbling a little bit. Uh, 
Here is uh, Depa. They are very good friends. I mean, uh, they meet each other very often on the. I'm going to try to leave you with the sound. I bueno, pues estamos con Gerard Blacky Morales una vez más aquí con contigo en esta meta. Esto empieza a ser un clásico ya. Tú llegas a meta, hablamos, lloras, eh, dices no, dices estoy viejo, de pa me duelen las lumbares, las rodillas, me duele todo, pero el año siguiente vuelve. Sé que es por presión de Manu, que le gusta mucho venir a montar en bici a Andorra y dice, Gerard, gato, hay que ir a Andorra. Sí, no, a ver, en bici volveremos seguro, pero te puedo asegurar que aunque Marta la quiero un montón y a Ferran también y me digan, de, me inviten otra vez a venir aquí, de verdad, que diré como los gallegos, nunca más. No, 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 ya está, ya está. Dos, dos está bien. Estoy, estoy contento porque... Creo que la he conseguido disfrutar un poco más todo y que lo he pasado muy mal. Eh, he conseguido disfrutar un poco de la carrera, que es lo que venía a buscar. Al final el resultado era uh, lo, lo que, bueno, lo que hubiera. O sea, estoy contento con lo que he hecho, pero sobre todo quería intentar no tener la misma sensación del año pasado, que aunque la clasificación fue mucho mejor, lo pasé muy mal y no disfruté nada de la carrera. Y, pero bueno, nada, y agradecerle a, a Manu y a mi hermana que han hecho todas las asistencias en todos los habituallamientos que han podido, así que gracias, os quiero. Manu y Cris que le han hecho todo ese, y Marta también, que, que, que quiere aquí a, a todos. Blacky, el año pasado, este año, tú lo has dicho, mucha diferencia, pero también en el, en el recorrido. Yo creo que pocas personas como tú pueden hacer una valoración de la mejora que ha tenido el recorrido en esta tradición Andorra. Sí, yo creo que hasta el kilómetro hasta el kilómetro 60 o así la carrera es más rápida. Se puede correr un poquito más, es más disfrutona, no es tan, oh, no es tan peleona, porque la verdad es que el año pasado no pudimos correr apenas en, en, en ningún sitio. No recuerdo decir, va, venga, me pongo a correr un poco, es que no, no había manera. Y este año he llegado a algún habituallamiento y he dicho, eh, guay, estoy disfrutando un poco más, puedo correr un poquito más. Todo y que la segunda parte sigue siendo muy chunga, ¿eh? Sigue siendo muy chunga la última subida. Cuando me han dicho, no, es la misma del año pasado, digo, madre mía, la que nos espera. Eh, no iba ni para atrás. Bueno, ahí está la dureza de Andorra. Este es el país de las montañas, estos son los Pirineos. Este es el desnivel que tenemos aquí. Y este es Blacky Morales. Le queremos a pesar de todo. Y yo también te quiero, ¿eh? Blacky Morales, uno de los grandes. Mientras en las imágenes vemos a Chila Pérez, a la Argentina de Mendoza, llegando al refugio de Sortein desde ahí. Uh, and the straight 100 Andorra by UTMB, but the, the course was really uh, different, so it's hard uh, to compare. And while we were uh, trying to listen to this interview, we received uh, the information that uh, we have the second lady already uh, on um, on the um, on Sortain. Second ladies uh, to reach Sortain is still uh, uh, Chila Perez, uh, the Argentinian guy, the Argentinian girl uh, uh, coming from uh, Mendoza coming uh, from uh, the chain of the uh, Aconcagua, so a girl who's, uh, who's uh, got the habit of a high mountain. She was explaining she's been here in 2019, and she really uh, enjoyed uh, uh, Andorra, and she wanted to be back. And uh, that's the occasion for her to, uh, to be here again. And uh, here we are trying, let me try to see. No, here, here we are again on images of uh, the lady on the lead. Or not? Let me try to check. Yeah, yeah. Here, here she's coming up. Is is Chila? Is uh, Chila Perez? Correct. So the Chila uh, who's uh, reaching. Uh, th that's the image is, uh, when she's uh, reaching uh, the um, the uh, refugee. We uh, recognize uh, this section as we've seen the head of the main race. Look at her. She's such a shining girl. Uh, always, uh, always spa smiling. And a tough girl, really, because uh, she said she was. She had no idea about the time she uh, she will need uh, to cover the race, but uh, she was here to enjoy it every step, to try to enjoy the uh, the landscape. And uh, she said that uh, she loves to uh, to run at night. Uh, so uh, probably she really uh, enjoyed all this time. Uh, the the sunset on the top of the mountain. Look at her sending kisses to everybody. Uh, I won't say that she looked absolutely fresh, but look at that, quite. 
she's not even stopping look at that she didn't even stop well you have to remember something on uh, one of the refugee i think it was it was in the life base in the in the parque in uh, andorra she did stop she got changed she took time to eat and there the thing changed she was leading and the other girls came and uh and she she lost the lead of the race and i think that she decided that uh, she felt she was feeling strong enough to uh to hit the downhill without stopping at the the refugee uh the lestine so uh there she is on the the last eight case and we have to keep an eye on what's going to happen on the finish line because we get uh, first lady here just at the moment thanks my guys from prediction here we get the images of uh, of uh, the leading lady so that's the reference we have uh here is uh ildiko famesha uh anel serrat it means uh, already on uh, no this is this is this is not because uh, yes 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 and el serrat correct and uh well the leading ladies and el serrat and uh, we have uh, the pushwear who just passed uh, the last uh, refugee so uh not long to see them Yes, that's uh, Iliko Fermesha. Here, uh, leading uh, the ladies' race on the 105 Ks. Doing a great job because uh, since uh, she passed uh, Chila Perez, uh, uh, she's uh, keeping the lead, increasing by and by uh, her leadership on the different uh, control points. But. Uh, We'll see with uh, Silvina. Uh, Chila said that uh, Decent is maybe not her favorite. You have to keep her really focused in, uh, in Decent. But we'll see. Because uh, she's really, really uh, working uh, hard to try to uh, catch an, uh, I think, yet uncatchable. Uh, Ildiko from Escher. There she is, uh, the girl from Hoka. You can uh, see the, the line of Hoka. The brand went her as a sponsor in this uh, second edition of the Trade 100 Andorra by UTMB. The downhill, that not an easy one. Huh? It's still, you still to get a focus. We remember the same images uh, this morning with uh, the leader of the main team. And we were explaining by the uh, position of the body, you can uh, appreciate really if it's going up again or if it's uh, going down. And this section is again uh, a little uh, uphill under the trees uh, that uh, are covering a little bit even though the temperature is lower than yesterday and much lower than the uh, day before yesterday. But when you go down to the valley, it's obviously warmer than uh, up there on top. For the moment, uh, the weather is respecting us. I'm trying to watch uh, through the window. Not really blue sky, but uh, no rain at the moment. And there she goes. You can see the ribbons. And uh, the bike following her you can see a little uh, you can see water she's passing uh, where uh, uh, some of the uh, waterfalls are uh, crossing uh, the the track we're in the forest there under the trees when we have trees you get the possibility to have this uh, hanging marks red some of them with this uh, 105 k's and uh, the other are stripped uh, white and uh, red and uh, and on the section uh, where, where we were on a single, uh, we have uh, hanging in the trees. And uh, when you get the possibility uh, to get uh, lost, normally you have an arrow. And we're back on the finish line. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Here he is. You can uh, give uh, your uh, bueno, warmest applause at home pio, also. Pio, pio, pio. 
que llega uh, we gotta go a in, uh, in interview. desde Gran Canaria, My, maybe. corredor que With, tiene uh, muchos lazos. Daniel uh, Pérez Alonso. La carrera de Telde, ahí junto al aeropuerto, el primo de Nelson. Bravo, enhorabuena por aceptos, porque llega en este momento Ricardo Cerda. Y atención, we have the winner of the 50Ks at the moment. We were talking about him, Ricardo Certa, the guy from the Dynafit team. We were explaining this young guy, is a 20, 34 uh, age group. Uh, he was uh, winning uh, two weeks ago, uh, sorry, two weeks ago he was doing a podium. He was third in Oya de Nuria uh, two weeks ago. And after this uh, podium, he said, you know what? Uh, I want to go. I want to go to uh, Andorra. Uh, he said he heard uh, great things about the course, about the organization, and he said, "I feel I'm in a good moment. That might be, uh, that might be my chance." And he, uh, he used this um, this expression when you say, uh, uh, "It's never too late when uh, the result is uh, a lucky one." That's something like that, if I translate. And look, what a lucky one. And not all luck. Of course, it's effort, it's quality, it's uh, it's fight. And there is this young guy. He was a uh, six in the uh, Acantilados del Norte by Dynafit in 2022. Six in the Trans Gran Canaria vertical kilometer in 2022. Many podiums in the national championship. I'll let you with the interview if we can hear it. Ha marcado al principio la, las distancias o los ritmos. Ha salido conservador, pero ha llegado un momento en el que has dicho ahora. Sí, hemos salido un pequeño grupo con, con un chico de aquí, Martí, y, y un chico francés. Y hemos hecho toda la primera subida juntos, pero después he visto que, que subiendo me encontraba bien. Y he intentado ir a mi ritmo, guardando un poco para el final. Y, y bueno, ahora ya súper cansado. Has tenido ritmo, tenía ritmo, venías de quedar tercero en Loya de Nuria eh, hace, hace prácticamente nada sobre una carrera de media maratón, también una carrera muy técnica con mucho desnivel. Tenía ritmo y se ha notado, ¿eh? Habéis corrido muy, muy rápido para ser una carrera de 50 kilómetros con este desnivel que tenemos, que tenemos aquí. Sí, la verdad es que a ritmo alto me está encontrando muy bien, también he hecho alguna vertical y, y muy contento. Lo que tenía más dudas era una distancia tan larga si sería capaz de aguantar hasta el final. Y por eso he intentado conservar un poco al principio y, y bueno, al final ha salido bien. Bueno, distancia larga con la que tú ya habías jugado, con la que ya habías coqueteado en Madeira, por ejemplo, en la Sky Running de Madeira, sobre los cincuenta y tantos kilómetros, también te metiste en el podio en aquel año, tercera, tercera posición, y ahora de aquí en adelante tenemos en dos meses OCC, tienes ya el pase directo a la OCC a Chamonix, merced a tu victoria aquí y todos los running stones que acabas de, de conseguir y ese paso directo a la, a la gran final. Ahora quedan dos meses duros todavía de preparación y pensar en, ese, en esa gran final en Chamonix. Sí, exacto. Ahora intentar recuperar bien y lo más rápido posible y ya con la cabeza en Chamonix intentar llegar fuerte y, y a ver qué se puede hacer. Oye, Ricardo, llevamos unos años viéndote ya en esto de, del mundo del trail. ¿Se puede decir que ha llegado ya la madurez deportiva y atlética de un Ricardo Cherta que hace años empezaba a coquetear con el, con el mundo del trail, empezabas a ir rápido, estabas en los campeonatos de España de la RFA, en Ibiza y luego te hemos ido viendo ya en carreras más grandes? Te encuentras en un momento... Bueno, atento porque llega uno de aquí, que llega uno de casa. Vamos a recibirle en segunda posición. Ahí les tienen los dos primeros. Martí, ¿qué tal? Bien, ¿no? Que decía, ya que tenemos, le vamos a poner la medalla aquí. Y oye, no ha sonado suficientemente el aplauso para el segundo clasificado y el tercero, que viene ahí, Paul Matú. Ahí tienen al francés, Paul Matú. Podio completo, rapidísimo. Paul Hola. Matú también. Y decía que el aplauso receive, uh, tenía que sonar fuerte second porque man, Martí es de aquí, uh, de Andorra. Martí Lázaro, good news for Andorra, as he's uh, uh, on his own playground, local, on the second step of the podium, that is great. And uh, the third uh, 
so close. I mean, this this podium of the 50Ks has been a matter of minutes. Uh, uh, the third one is the French uh, Paul Matou. He was uh, fifth on uh, La Pastourelle in 2021 on the Trail du Grand Cirque, second on the Trail Drome, and he was finisher of the CCC in 2021. We will uh, proceed uh, almost uh, straight away with uh, after the picture of the podium. We can see Marta in charge of uh, his communication. Bueno, Ipa, pues here, uh, los tres uh, desde 50 asking the guys to uh, to take position in front of uh, of the arch for the uh, official uh, de familia, la en el picture de meta. with uh, the band of uh, este the uh, finish acá. line. And then we will pass to the podium. It's, uh, it's nice because uh, normally uh, uh, we have what we call the flower ceremony. But uh, uh, you've seen that uh, Andorra got a lot of flowers. We don't want to cut them. We want to let them uh, live their life in the nature. And... Uh, and they decided to offer, in, uh, in, uh, instead of flowers, uh, marmalade, local marmalade. Fantastic product. Uh, food is also great here in Andorra. So they will uh, go to the podium for this uh, first uh, flower ceremony. We know that we have complete, cer you know that we have complete ceremony uh, tomorrow with uh, different uh, distances. But uh, so we invite you to come here because it's going to be uh, uh, if you uh, watching us from somewhere in uh, in uh, Andorra or near Andorra, come on, come, come, get on a bus, uh, get on bueno, a car, take your bike and join us in Ordino because tomorrow we will have uh, two more races. We, are, we will have uh, 21Ks, we will have a 7.5 five, uh, family uh, um, trail also, and uh, we will have all the uh, official traffic giving ceremony. We repeat uh, the arrival of uh, Ricardo Certa, such a nice guy, and uh, and uh, yeah, he was uh, as I said before, he was saying, I feel that's my moment. Why not? Come on, I try. I want my ticket uh, for the for the um, for the OCC. So uh, that was the moment, and uh, and he did it. He did to get the ticket. Great, uh, great job. He said he, he, he has been uh, watching the, the course in the previous day also. And um, he said he was uh, really, uh, really, uh, he, he heard the course was beautiful. But he said he was even surprised that he, he didn't expect it as beautiful as it is. Uh, it says it's really, really uh, smashing. He was also surprised by the level because uh, his... Uh, it's a uh, high, high level uh, technical and uh, tough uh, course. Uh, he really, uh, he really loved it. We can see again uh, the entrance of uh, Marti Lazaro. From Andorra, playing home, his own playground. Uh, of course, it. Uh, it has to make the difference, I man. Is uh, as I say, joking uh, this morning. Uh, if you're born in uh, in Andorra, you have to be. You have to. Be. You have to be a trailer. You have to be a skier. You have to be a biker. I don't know. It's a, you cannot do any sports flat sport. This is impossible. You have to go up and down. Here, receiving his medal. And again, a nice moment of conversation in between uh, the uh, the winners of uh, this uh, here uh, Ricardo Certa for Spain, Marti Lazaro for Andorra, and uh, Paul Matu for France. The gap, you can see, almost nothing. S 5 hours, 22 minutes and 13 Nos seconds. Esperem, uh, and uh, we have... Uh, Three minutes, 27, the, the gap with uh, the second, and uh, three minutes, 57, uh, with uh, the third, so almost nothing. What a finish. I mean, uh, we're talking about 50 Ks, and 50 Ks having a, a gap of three minutes uh, in between first and second is not much, and a gap of 30 seconds be be between second and third, it's incredible. Uh, we're back on images of our uh, first lady, the lady uh, leader, 
of uh, the 105k uh, race. You can see down on the, on the left side, we can already uh, see uh, houses. We're gonna check uh, where she is, but uh, obviously she's uh, getting uh, closer and closer to us. You can see now that the section is uh, much flatter. She's uh, reaching uh, already, she's in the valley. And uh, another top view. I don't know who we have here, but yeah, we're back on uh, on uh, Ildiko, Ildiko Fermescher is going to be here very soon. Ah, already uh, running uh, in between the f fruit uh, trees area and uh, in between uh, buildings. Some Virgil woods, all kind of uh, pine, uh, uh, the family of all uh, the pine trees, all kind of them. And down we can see uh, the first parking, and that goes on and on and on and on. Little uh, section on you've seen quickly on the other side. There was first there was a yellow. Uh, uh, board with a black arrow uh, showing left and then on the right side in order not to take uh, the road on the wrong way it was uh, one of the square board yellow background with a big red X on it it means don't take right make sure you go left very uh, short section on uh, on uh, the on the road on the country on the side of the road she's gonna turn right here to uh to re-enter the the track to re-enter under the trees for the last uh, section along uh, the river uh, yeah she's trying uh, to get a bit of information from our camera i think she's asking about the distance still on because she was doing like five that uh, what she expected to be i think she's under the five case I don't have the exact reference, but uh, yeah, more or less, ungefähr. <laughs> in uh, definitely in the last kilometers, for uh, the lady, mm, we can see her pass as uh, the legs uh, are a bit heavy. She's uh, with her. Facing down, while uh, we have the uh, ceremony, the flower ceremony this year, a marmalade ceremony. Beautiful products, uh, as uh, Andorra is also famous uh, with the products of uh, of uh, the land. I can hear that uh, we have uh, again uh, the the podium of uh, the 50 Ks. The men we're gonna find again on the podium uh, tomorrow. Uh, the third, uh, Paul Matou from France, uh, finishing uh, 3 minutes and 57 uh, seconds third, after the, the winner as our vice champion. Local, congrats Andorra, we are so happy. You can see one of you guys on top of the podium playing home on his own playground. Marty Lazaro from Andorra, finishing 3 minutes and 27 seconds only after the absolute champion and this absolute champion is the young Ricardo Certa, same age group than uh, Paul Matou. And uh, well, 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 congrats uh, to, uh, to these guys. And now, ladies and really, and really, and really beautiful finish. Ricardo, In uh, the case Ricardo. of uh, Paul Matou, we're, uh, yeah, more in, uh, they're in the same age group here, uh, the official uh, pictures with uh, Mario and uh, with uh, Joanne, and uh, we have uh, the pleasure to have uh, uh, the uh, authorities uh, with, from uh, Ordino, who wanted to be with us, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Angel Mortes, uh, Consul Major of uh, Ordina. Along uh, the morning, we had also uh, Miss uh, Eva Choi, Consul Menor, 
of uh, Ordina, that's uh, the council for the parish, is like for us, let's say, uh, the, um, the major from a, a department, from a, a county, where in Andorra we don't talk about county, we don't talk about major, we talk about parishes and we talk about council. So the, the first one is a council major and uh, the second in protocol order is the council minor. And we will still uh, watch images uh, of uh, Illico Fermesha in uh, under 5 k's to finish. We had the pleasure to have with us also Mr. Marc Gallardo, Minister of Economy and uh, Enterprises, Mr. Marc Gelabert, who's uh, Secretary of State, both of uh, Andorra country, Agusti Perez, who's uh, the Senior Regional Director, the Ironman Group Andorra, Spain, Italy, and Portugal, so all uh, South uh, Europe. And, uh, and also uh, Jordi uh, Serracanta, Conseiller of uh, Tourism, Dynamization and the Sport, who's been kind enough to be with us on the streaming this morning. And uh, I don't forget, obviously, of uh, Juan Tourne Sola, who's uh, the race director, one of the responsible for such a tough but such a smashing, wonderful, beautiful uh, uh, course. It was a, a great uh, event. And uh, one more time, I will remind you that uh, this uh, event uh, entered the, the program of a full uh, 10 days with uh, the celebration of the Andorra Multisport Festival with events uh, uh, by, with the label of uh, UTMB, events with the, the label of uh, Ironman, uh, the 21 ports, so we'll have uh, the uh, triathlon, we will have... Uh, uh, the Ironman triathlon, we will have uh, uh, also mountain bike and uh, a great, great uh, weekend of, uh, of uh, extreme sports. And still the eye on uh, Ildiko Femesha, thanks to Marty, our uh, camera on bike. We have uh, these images of uh, the effort of this lady. You can appreciate she's running alone. Um, it's not easy, but it's something that is uh, that happened quite often on trail. It's not uh, like road races. We're talking about long distances. It's very. Uh, it's not that easy to find someone who's running exactly on the same uh, rhythm than you. And uh, if you've been uh, running, where wherever where, whether is uh, the the distance or the rhythm you you run, you know that uh, it's terrible to try to run on a rhythm that doesn't fit you. So many times the solution is to run alone, to keep on uh, your rhythm, to make your uh, race. Uh, it's good for your uh, past, but the problem is that sometimes you lose reference with the others, and sometimes you get uh, surprises with somebody, uh, uh, with someone showing at your back and, uh, and passing you suddenly. That will not be the case for uh, Illico Femesha, who's walking now. As uh, you can see, that the pass is uh, going uh, up a uh, hill. A little bit and uh, this guy that fast running believe me he's not a trailer on the race because uh, with the the back sack he has is probably someone uh, some supporter or some photographer you still have this uh, wonderful iron uh, fence on the side that is also decorative you know that uh, all this area of Ordino was uh, very important uh, like the center of uh, Andorra for uh, iron mining and um, it's been uh, one of the most important activities in Andorra for many times. And uh, from Ordino, you get the possibility to uh, discover this uh, iron uh, road. You have also the uh, iron museum. You get a different museum, two of them in Ordino. With your beep number, you get the chance this weekend to uh, visit it for free. And uh, the entrance is for two persons. So uh, that's the way also to uh, gather, uh, to put together uh, sports. Uh, free time, leisure, and culture, and tourism. This is the kind of tourism that uh, Andorra wants, and uh, any country would uh, would love to have uh, tourists who are here to enjoy the uh, the surrounding, to enjoy the landscape, 
to um, respect nature, respect environment. It's a, a big effort uh, on uh, the side of uh, the organization of the event to make it as sustainable as possible. It's, um, I mean, you know that no planet B, we love nature, we love trail, we love mountain, we love woods, we love uh, wildlife, and uh, to be able to keep on, we need to respect, and uh, we want our events to be an example. We want uh, to be uh, responsible, we want to be respectful, we want to be environment care, sustainable, absolutely. And we're working hard in changing habits. Uh, one little example on the, on the, the race uh, gift that they all received was a, a beautiful uh, T-shirt, obviously. And it was one of these uh, uh, kind of silicone uh, glasses. Uh, the, the weight is absolutely nothing. So, and you can't fold them in your, in your pocket, in your, in your uh, jacket, in your... Uh, anywhere in, in your equipment if you feel for it and uh, then uh, uh, you use it on each and every head station because as you've seen in the head station we don't have any glasses you got to bring your own or you have to refill your uh, your your uh, your hydration bag in this case uh, we're working with uh, camelback uh, but uh, everybody get his own uh, system you also have uh, the uh, these uh, silicone bottles that you uh, get in the in the vest uh, was a special compartment, so you get the possibility to have uh, one on each side plus um, a bigger uh, deposit on the back. And we are back on images of the refugee of Sortain, where I guess they are images of the third lady reaching uh, the uh, the refugee, if I'm not wrong. Uh, that should be the uh, the Italian, and uh, we go on uh, the ladies. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it has uh, it has to be uh, Basilia first. Uh, the uh, yeah, she is. Here she is. Basilia first. Uh, the uh, Italian uh, trailer from. Uh, yeah, Italia get uh, great uh, trailers, all the, especially the northern part of the country with uh, the uh, Dolomites, uh, all the uh, uh, Sud uh, Tyrol, they get such uh, a great uh, playground to, to practice. And so close from uh, the Alps, from uh, Chamonix, so uh, the, uh, the attraction of, uh, of the uh, UTMB uh, Evans, uh, all the, uh, of the... Uh, World Series events by UTMB are uh, an attraction for them. The desire to be uh, at uh, the final. And that will be a reality also uh, for Basilia. First, uh, refilling, as we were explaining, this uh, silicone deposit. They are very, very light. And uh, it's the weight you lose as... Uh, you are drinking, then uh, it, when it's empty, when it's empty, the weight is absolutely nothing, and uh, it goes in these pockets, on the, on the uh, at the front of the shoulder, on uh, both sides. You get the possibility to get one, uh, depending. Uh, you get one liter. Uh, you get different uh, sizes, depends on the distance you want to cover, depends on the possibility you have to find a uh, head station on such a long distance. Obviously, uh, you take as much as possible because uh, you need them. Here she is. She's not rushing. You can see they have uh, candies, they have uh, gels, they have uh, Coke and uh, other uh, orange uh, soft drink, plain water, bananas we've seen before. Some uh, salty uh, and sweet uh, cookies. And there she goes. And the, 
Look at that, always smiling, the team of uh, the refugees. That was uh, a comment on, on the finish line from Zach Miller when we, have, uh, when we had him in uh, an interview here in, uh, on the set. Uh, he, he, well, we were uh, saying uh, thank you and goodbye and good luck. And he said, yes, I just want to add, uh, I want to say thank you to all the people of the organization, all the people on, in each and every at station. They were uh, friendly. They were uh, mm, smiling. They were uh, cheering us. And uh, he said he felt uh, really uh, supported in each and every uh, stop. So, uh, yeah, we passed that over because it's... Uh, uh, you don't uh, organize an uh, event like this without uh, without a, a great team. Yet uh, we go back uh, again on uh, the pass of uh, Ildiko Vermesha. You will see the the difference in between the three ladies on the on the on the head. Uh, Ildiko stopped uh, for a while. She's been. Uh, eating and uh, she's been refilling water but she stopped really really uh quite quite fast just a, a short stop she took some salty cookies i guess and uh drink some water second to stop uh, was uh uh chila perez the argentinian girl and she didn't even stop i mean she uh, she arrived there, rising arm, uh, saying hello to everybody, smiling for the picture. And look at her. Look at her. She arrived. She say hello to everybody. It's uh, men starting uh, just before her. And there she goes. From that image, she, she started to run, not even stopped. And here we can uh, see uh, Basilia Furster, the Italian, finishing uh, this uh, uphill with the poles drinking some uh, Coke. And once again, we can uh, appreciate that it's windy up there. Yeah, she's uh, obviously uh, warm because uh, she's uh, sweating. But uh, everybody up there got the jackets on already. And we're back on the images of uh, the leader. We're uh, back on the uh, images from uh, Iliko Famesha from the Oka team. On the last kilometer, this uh, last part of the last downhill section, 105 k's. Men, oh men, we remind you the start was given uh, yesterday at uh, 7 o'clock p.m. Wow. And, uh, we are reaching the 19 hours since she took the start. We were talking about uh, trying to be under 20 for the lady on uh, the top of the race. And, uh, and believe me, it's already uh, quite a time, quite a chrono, if you take into account uh, the, the, uh, the course. So we've been uh, saying again and again uh, how demanding it is. And all these people, they're giving their best. And don't forget, we got uh, these people reaching the finish line. We're already uh, happy to uh, to give medals, uh, to have uh, ceremonies. And uh, but um, we have to think about all these people who are watching the sky, asking if uh, the weather w is going to uh, to uh, to be there for them. And uh, if it's not going to rain. La Cortinada, yes, kilometer 102.5. So uh, she's got another 2.5 kilometer to go. So the reference she was asking before and uh, showing uh, the, the five fingers. Yes, she was entering the last 5Ks. Now we can see now she's got the last 2.5 to go for her. She's going to go almost all the time along the river now uh, in different points. Uh, she will have a bridges. She will uh, pass over. And, uh, well, that's the victory for sure. And uh, we can appreciate. We, we've been following her quite a long time. Uh, look at the position. Look at... Uh, she's drinking now from, uh, from this uh, bottle we were just ex explaining, right? And, um, but the position is uh, about the same. And the reason is very constant. 
uh, except for the moment that uh, the the pass was uh, going up again and uh, she chose to uh, walk for a while but uh, since she's on a, on downhill uh, she's on a constant rhythm and uh, well she feels uh, she l it looks like she feels quite uh, comfortable on this rhythm keeping on uh, watching when she jump you can jump you can see that she uh, like uh, open the the uh, elbows to the side then close back uh, the uh, the arms closer to the body uh, searching for a balance when uh, when uh, in in some portion when when she got rocks especially or roots on the on the ground keeping the eye on the, on the pass and there she goes in the last uh, two case about to enter the last two case yeah again we see as she open uh, the elbow to uh, keep the to help balance on the section uh, when you have to jump like uh, steps down by the river we can almost uh, feel the freshness of the river even even at the background you might you might hear very very low the wind in the camera the camera that is uh, on the, on a bike and uh, is giving this uh, this image uh, following uh, all the time uh, the lady on the lead we remind you uh, she's going to take uh, the first position of uh, the ladies race for the 105 kilometers that will be uh, Ildiko Famesha and uh, second uh, is uh, Maria Silvina Chila Perez and the third lady uh, to complete this international podium will be uh, Basilia Furster but here you can see that it's uh, on the difference with uh, the men look look at this flower bridge in that nice and that beautiful that's typical from uh, Andorra. Yes, yes. Yeah, she's uh, checking to be sure she's taking the pass on the correct uh, side. Now running along uh, the road for uh, for a time. As we said, she passed on the other side of the river. You get the ribbons hanging on the, the vertical road signals we've seen now. Yeah, international podium, we were saying, and uh, with a big difference with the men uh, podium, where we've seen the, the three men enter, entering in less than four minutes, but uh, there's uh, going to be uh, quite a gap in between the three ladies, so we will have uh, to wait until the arrival of the third one to have this uh, nice marmalade ceremony at uh, the podium. I remind you that the complete podium here will... Uh, we will have them uh, tomorrow here, so that's why we invite all those of you who are going to be around in Andorra to come and join us. We'll have uh, different starts tomorrow morning for the uh, 21, for the 7.5 with all the arrivals, with all family and friends around the, the, uh, the finish line here in the, the heart of uh, Ordino. We expect a lot of people, a warm ambience, and uh, everybody uh, cheering um, all uh, these um, finishers. Remember that we will have a finisher during the whole night, even though we're not going to be on uh, with the streaming. We'll be here. We're not going to leave uh, this uh, finish line alone. Uh, myself, I will be here in between uh, half past two and half past eight in the morning receiving uh, trailers. And some of them will still be on their way until almost midday. And as I said, during the morning, we will have uh, the start and the, the, um, the finish uh, for the uh, 21 case. That uh, is uh, also one running stone, we remind you. And uh, also for the uh, 7.5, that it's much more uh, family race. It uh, also allowed us to have a very young people, some of them uh, beginning in uh, trail, a lot of rookies on this distance. Also, uh, many people who are coming with uh, a long distance runner who decide to have their own experience on the Sunday morning.
the arrival uh, of uh, Juan Diego. Let me see. Yes, yes, yes. Here is uh, Juan Diego Aguilar Bravo, the Spaniard. And look at that. There she is. Down the road. Down the road. Passing uh, on the other side. Yes. Down the pass. That last pass with uh, the river again on the right side for her. After uh, passing uh, Cortinada, the goal is uh, all the way to, uh, to Ardino. Last control was uh, the refugee in uh, Sestine. And uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so far we only have three who passed uh, the refugee in, uh, in Sestine. Yeah, only uh, three of them among uh, the ladies. I think we will have uh, to wait quite a lot to, to get uh, the fourth uh, woman. On Sortain. Yeah, so far, uh, Ilico, Chila, and Basilia. Ilico of Emesha here. Running to get her ticket uh, for uh, the uh, final. Uh, we can uh, talk a little bit about the, the cutoff. Uh, we remind uh, on this uh, 105 case, we had uh, the start uh, on kilometer zero, <laughs> as usual. On kilometer 22.5 in Col de la Botella was uh, the first cutoff. The time, the top time was uh, eight hours to cover this uh, first 22.5 kilometer. It gives you an idea or uh, of uh, how steep was the start of the race. Uh, Zach Miller, that's uh, the point where he took the lead on the Col de la Botella. The second uh, cutoff uh, is in Parque Central in uh, Andorra la Bella, in the uh, main uh, agglomeration, main uh, parish. And uh, it was after 12 hours and uh, 30 minutes. It's, uh, it was the first live base for the runners. Then uh, Refugi de Lilla, Kilometer uh, 52, 20 hours. Grau Roch, second live base with uh, kilometer 60, top time 24 hours. Inglés, 70.1.5 70 kilometers, sorry, and uh, 28 hours. 32 hours was the top time to cover the first 80 Ks, and the point was El Plans de Ransol. 38 hours, the top time to reach the refugee of Sortain, where we, where we have beautiful images and where we've been able to uh, give uh, the position of uh, the head of the two uh, different races. And uh, Andy in Orino, to enter officially the uh, classification, you have to cover the complete 105 kilometers under 42 hours, or oh, maximum of 42 hours. Our eyes uh, back uh, on uh, the uh, area of the finish line where uh, Depa and uh, Alberto Montenegro are uh, talking about uh, what is going to happen now. And what is going to happen now, you know as much as me, as we are uh, sticked on the, the screen, uh, expecting the arrival of uh, the winning ladies of the 105K. Remind you one more time, uh, Iliko Femesha is the one uh, to... Uh, complete between uh, uh, Hungary and, uh, and Germany. Ildiko Femesha. Beautiful uh, images from the top of the third uh, parish of the seventh of Andorra in order of our protocol. And the heart of uh, our uh, event in this uh, edition 2022 Trail 100 Andorra by uh, UTMB, one of the 20, 25 uh, World uh, Series events uh, in this uh, edition 2022 that will uh, lead uh, up uh, 
to the uh, World Series uh, majors. We remind you, one in America, one in Europe, and one in uh, Asia and Oceania. And uh, that will uh, take uh, the best of the top athletes and all the lucky trailers of the raffle up to the World Series Finals, the UTMB World Series Final in Chamonix in uh, August. We'll uh, be there together. I, I hope uh, many of you uh, get the chance to come for uh, to run because I'm sure that we have uh, a lot of uh, trailers uh, looking to these images, uh, uh, looking for their uh, running stones to get uh, their uh, possibilities. I remind you that the Rolling Stones uh, you, uh, you got in 2021 are already in your account huh? and that uh, the uh, pre-inscription uh, is already open for obviously. And then uh, you can uh, use uh, your uh, Rolling Stones if you're not your Running Stones, if you're not uh, lucky on the raffle uh, for 2022. You know that you're going to keep them for 2023. It's uh, unlimited life. Jordi Gamito, Jordi Gamito at the moment just entering the finish line. Great, great, great finish for him. We're explaining uh, uh, oh, man, this man is a uh, living adventure with his uh, campaign with his girlfriend there. They've been traveling, they've been traveling uh, all the way from uh, the Alps. Uh, we explained that uh, uh, on the start this morning because uh, uh, it was supposed to be in Chamonix and uh, the race was uh, canceled. So uh, he said, well, what, are, what I'm going to do? Well, uh, you know what? We're going to take the van, we're going to roll the, d the road down and uh, we're going to... We're gonna go uh, to uh, we're gonna go to Andorra because there's another beautiful race. It was hard for him to choose. Let's go with him. O sea, a pasar, joder, eh, vaya, este corre más que yo, pero yo hablo más que él, eh, que a pasar página de la lesión ya y a pensar en todo lo que queda por delante en este verano. Sí, bueno, ahora ya solo es cuestión de trabajo y, y nada, enfocar los objetivos y ya está. Pero bueno, contento porque, ¿qué te digo? Iba a correr en Chamonix ayer por la noche, no, no pude correr, entonces, pues nada, tuve la suerte de, de que me invitaron a poder venir a correr aquí, entonces, pues nada, nos seguimos 11 horas y, y aquí estamos, disfrutando de Andorra. Pues aquí es tu casa en Andorra. ¡Denle un aplauso fuerte a Jordi Gamito! ¡Ahí lo tienen! And with uh, Jordi Gamito, we're closing the, the top five of the 50K on the, on the main race. Uh, with, uh, we remind you, Ricardo Certa, uh, winner. He finished in a 13 13 Second, Martí Lázaro from uh, Andorra, playing home. Second position for him uh, in uh, 13 hours, 25 minutes, 40 seconds. Third position for France. Thanks to uh, Paul Matou, finishing in 13.26.10. First position uh, going to France, also with uh, uh, Valentin Bernard, uh, finishing in 13.36.02. Uh, and just a couple of minutes ago, the uh, arrival of uh, Jordi Gamito, Paus for Spain, in uh, fifth position, just over the 14 uh, hours, 14 hours, 2 minutes and 2 seconds. And uh, obviously, we turn our eyes uh, back on the ladies' race as uh, getting closer and closer, we get our leader on the very last kilometers. We're going to receive her uh, not very far from now, thanks to this uh, view from the top, thanks to our drone. We uh, get the possibility uh, to... Um, to follow her when she reach uh, the uh, section on the, on the road, the last uh, road section, obviously entering the uh, the area of uh, Ordino. When we just passed the 19 hours, 19 hours, five minutes and 20 uh, yeah seconds are passing, 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 as uh, normal, and there she goes. The rhythm has been uh, slowing down a very little bit, but uh, but there she is. 
No one is going to take the victory from her. Still running along the river. Uh, Carlos uh, Salsenca Constancio, the man to enter on the sixth position under the arch, uh, also for Spain. And the next one will be uh, Carlos Martinez Garcia. Jordi Gamito, a part of being uh, fifth, closing the top five, is uh, the first uh, of the master category. Oh, it's uh, this view from the top where we are expecting at any moment uh, to see uh, the leading lady appear at the uh, entrance of uh, this uh, very last uh, kilometer. The river, the road, as we see this, uh, this uh, game of uh, colors with all the shades of gray and green. The, the bottom of the river with the gray rocks and with the effect of the water with the the white foam when the water uh, hit the rocks. And then we get this uh, dark gray color with the beautiful white of the waterfall. You can see on the right side near the house, the gray of the roof of the house, the gray of the stone walls, and the, the gray also of uh, the fields. And, uh, and in between, as we said before, all shade of green with a fantastic uh, flora and fauna with some uh, endemic uh, animals and some endemic plants also. Some uh, absolutely uh, locals and some of them even considered rare in a very uh, protected area. Protected by, by, uh, by the landscape itself, I mean, protected by the mountains all around, and it's, a, it's been along uh, the history of protection against uh, invasion, against the enemies, a protection also uh, about uh, the entrance of, uh, of uh, anything that can uh, change the balance of the valleys here. So a country who kept a zone uh, uh, developed and kept a very, person, a very important personality, very strong personality, and uh, and who's uh, now a reference for everybody, anybody, uh, mountain lover, the country of the mountains. And the country of the mountains is obviously a country of uh, for trail. And we are so happy to be back on this uh, second edition of the Trade Hundred Andorra by UTMB with uh, almost a double in description with a lot more ladies. Well, we have the pleasure to have uh, an, uh, a, ge uh, a guest here with us. Okay. Te voy a dejar que te que te pongas el uh, el casco y vamos a poder empezar. A ver. Bueno, here we are. Vamos en castellano, ya sé que me estás mirando. Oh, intentaremos un poquito en inglés porque sé que ayer te defendiste muy bien. Uh, vale. Ok, aquí. Estamos arreglando un poquito los, uh, los cables. Ricardo, Ricardo Cherta con nosotros. Eh, Enhorabuena. De verdad. Congrats. Uh, we, we try in English a little bit. Okay. Okay, for the try. streaming, we can try. Uh, first of all, congrats for, uh, for a great race and a great event. Yesterday, you say something, if in, in a tri translation, more or less, would be uh, it's never too late when the result is a lucky one. 
and uh, I was explaining on the sc on the streaming that after this podium uh, that was uh, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. yeah, two weeks ago in uh, Oya de Nuria, uh, it was like, uh, yeah, it, it's a good moment for me, and and maybe it's not a bad idea to go there to Andorra to see uh, how it goes, and uh, well, we're on a lucky result. So the impression after after this victory? Yes, I. I have a good race two weeks ago, and uh, I was motivated to come here to, to Andorra. I like the track, I like these mountains, it's, it's are really beautiful, and and now I'm really happy after the race. Uh, I felt mm, really good. Uh, I think I, I could do a, a good race. Uh, at, uh, I tried to, to go at my pace with with some other strong runners and I'm really happy to to finish first. Yeah, it's uh, very, excuse me, thank you. Okay. It's very important to, uh, yeah, you, you got it better. Uh, we're gonna hear you better. <laughs> it's very important to be able uh, to uh, to um, analyze and to recognize the the moment of uh, of good shape because it's a, it's also a risk just two weeks after a good race to try to go for a second one, uh, but uh, but at so it's been two in a row. So how do you feel mm -hmm. now? Uh, how long do you think you need f to recover? Yeah, it's about um, find a balance between. Uh, races and, and rest but uh, the last race uh, it was not so long and uh, I could recover really fast and uh, I was I was fresh to, to come here for this race maybe now uh, I, I would need some more time to recover because uh, today it was a hard race, a long one and yeah, I, uh, now I think I'm I'm going to <laughs> to need some rest. But but yeah, be before I I felt fresh and, and motivated. Uh, it's been something uh, um, n not that usual. At the end of this race, we're talking about a 50 k's, and the three of you. The first three, you arrive in less than four minutes. I mean, you had a four minutes gap on uh, mm -hmm. Marti Lazaro, who's finishing second, on the last control we had. And on the finish line, you're, uh, he's uh, three minutes and 27 seconds after you. And then, only 30 seconds after him, we have, uh, we have uh, Paul Matou. So, did you have the pressure? Did you realize that they were that close? Yeah, it was difficult because I, I didn't know uh, how, how was the race before me. I, I didn't have any uh, any times or any, any gaps. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, in the uphills I I felt strong and tried to to open the gap between me and and them, and I know that in the downhill they can run faster than me, and I was uh, uh, thinking uh, and looking looking back, uh, but at the end I. I could maintain the the gap and and finish first. I'm gonna help you with the helmet. Yeah, yeah better. And we put the mic again. Yes, I'm gonna go with uh, with just another another question. Uh, one of the goal, a part of this race, as we go step by step. First goal, fantastic. It was the 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 race, and it's a victory. And also there was a goal aside is uh, this uh, this objective to uh, to get the ticket for the uh, OCC in uh, at the uh, UTMB at the at the UTMB uh, final on in August in Chamonix. So this is done now. So how do you face uh, your uh, preparation for August? Yeah, the OCC is one of the main goals of my season, and I wanted to to be here in Andorra to to try the distance and to to win experience in in this kind of races and now i think i'm going to to rest a little bit this week and then uh, focus on my training on on this race and try to to get better uh, in these two months that i have until until the race yes and then leah what are you happy wi with with what you've d done today thinking about uh, about your goal and what do you think you you would have to improve 
to get even more prepared. Yeah, I'm happy today because I today the, the goal was to try to manage the the nutrition and the pace uh, better than the the other races before this one, and I think I I could do it well and I didn't have any uh, good problem and. I'm happy about this because it, it's a problem that I have in in other races, and today I I felt perfect in this uh, in this point, and and now so keep keep working on this and trying to to be faster than uh, and better than today. That's great. Um, checking, I was listening. If we are if we had the first lady of the 105 case, she's very near. Just let me know, control, if we can go on. Okay, I think we uh, we can uh, we can go on. At least say thank you, and uh, thank you for doing it in English. Your okay, English is very good. So, uh, well, all the best for this uh, preparation. We have a rendezvous in uh, Chamonix in uh, in August, and uh, congrats for the victory and all the best. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. See you thank in Chamonix. you. Thank you. That was uh, the interview with uh, Ricardo Certa, winner of the 50Ks, and I think uh, we're going to turn our eyes uh, back on the finish line for uh, for the arrival of the First Lady. I think uh, we didn't uh, miss it. She has to be here. Uh, while we have images of uh, the Second Lady already, images from, uh, from uh, Chila Perez. Yes, I think I think we're gonna pass on the finish line now. I hope so because I'm uh, I'm hearing uh, down there they talking about putting the band for the for the winning ladies. Uh, yes, the camera is ready to see her enter. We can see the the public already uh, putting the hands together. Everybody uh, ready? Here she is. Here she is. Come on, come on. We have the magic carpet, Ildiko Westminster to win. This 105 kilometers of this trail, 100 dollars by UTMB. Holy illusion, look at that. Here she is. Fantastic, fantastic finish. 105 Ks, just a little over 19 hours for Idiko Vermesher from the Hoka team. There she is. Uh, she goes for uh, one of the most important things. You have to order your priority, the support of a family and friends receiving her medal and uh, yeah breezing we've seen uh, she was in an effort in uh, the last uh, case uh, uh, she's doing a great 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 finish she's uh, in the master category uh, 55 59 I have uh, on my board yeah Alberto you asking in the, which happy? language are you gonna go with the, the interview did you enjoy the competition, the views, the mountains? Yes, it was, it was beautiful, yes. Okay, thank you, muchísimas felicidades. Our champion, ladies and gentlemen, Indico, was Mesher. La corredora de Joca, Juan Juan. Winning uh, lady Idiko Vermesher will remind you, finisher of the Pisan Extreme 2021, of the TDS 2021, and of the uh, Gross uh, Glockner Ultra Trail in 2021. She uh, took the lead on uh, Chila uh, Perez, uh, the, the Argentinian, Argentinian runner, who's going to show up as the second uh, lady. But uh, well, she still uh, we still have a, a gap. We've seen a couple of images very, very uh, quickly, and um, I, I need to go back on on the screen a little later on to get an idea uh, where she is exactly. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, get the thanks to thanks to my friends from uh, Live Trail. Um, uh, just like you, you can do that at home. Also, you enter Live Trail. Uh, you download the uh, the app. And you can uh, follow the rhythm of the race. Obviously, if you enter our page uh, with uh, UTMB, you will find all the links uh, to uh, to reach. Uh, uh, ah, ah, here she is. Look, she just put it, uh, the Argentinian flag on her shoulders. And uh, here she comes. Let me try to see uh, the gap. 
Yes, here we go. Yeah, we we go on the replay of uh, of the uh, of the finish line of the winner. We could see that again and again. Great finish! Look at that. All the effort. This lady has been in her shoes for a, a hundred and five kilometers. It's it's not fair. They make it uh, look like it's easy. I mean, when you look at this lady finishing or or any of the guys we've seen before, y you think. Okay, I can do that. It's not. It doesn't look that uh, that hard. That's why it's so important. We can have this uh, streaming, so you can have uh, images of uh, of the top of uh, of the steep uh, climb they have to do, and uh, of the steep descent also, and uh, the uh, the rocks and then the roots and uh, and uh, and then to think about the time. I mean, uh, we're we're a little under 20 hours. 20 hours on the way. Yeah, 19 hours and 21 seconds with uh, Chila Perez uh, getting a closer, closer. And uh, the third, uh, we, we have new images uh, uh, alternatively of, uh, of uh, Idilko, Idilko Femesha on the Finnish area. Already uh, talking with uh, with family and friends, taking pictures. Ah, uh, our bright winner. International podium here too. Uh, for the men, we had the pleasure to have uh, uh, this uh, podium uh, international. And uh, for the ladies, it's going to be uh, exactly. The same. We remind them in uh, podium uh, this morning with uh, the victory of uh, Zach Miller, back from uh, from a dark age of uh, four years without uh, touching uh, a podium, without passing uh, a finish line as a winner. Uh, this time on a very long distance, after uh, he was uh, one of the uh, men of the revolution of trade a few years ago. And he's back, and he was uh, so happy. And now we uh, feel really proud to be the place where uh, for his comeback. Second uh, position was uh, for Norway, thanks to Sebastian uh, Krovik, who did a great race too. And the uh, third position was, uh, let's say, for uh, Romanian Spain, as uh, Romanian uh, Yonel Christian uh, uh, is uh, from uh, Romania, of course but uh, is uh, also uh, living in Spain for years, and that's the place uh, uh, where he's uh, training uh, all the time. And now we go for this uh, international, podium, international podium with the ladies. We remind you also that uh, we have to keep an eye on the, on the 50K uh, ladies race, where the leader was uh, for uh, the Majorican... Uh, Yes, with the Majorican uh, Yes, in, uh, the second position. I'm, I'm trying to get now, thanks to Live Trail, as I was explaining before for you. I uh, want to get uh, now the uh, the results uh, for the, the ladies' race on uh, the 50 to see uh, how they are uh, going. Yes, here we are. Yes. Uh, yes. Sorry, uh, I was uh, trying to uh, enter the uh, live trail. Yeah, there I am. Uh, Angel Zubeda, uh still on uh, on her way, and uh, she's still uh, on the lead, uh, and uh, she's been increasing the gap on uh, Jelena Maliseva, on the control on uh, Col de la Botella. I think we will have a more uh, more control. Uh, the, the gap is now uh, more than uh, 20 minutes and uh, still uh, uh, Maite Lucia Lopez Fernandez on the third uh, position we're seeing now the uh, arrival of uh, 
Juan Diego Aguilar Bravo. This is a repetition, I think, of a, of a, of a finish we've seen before. Yes, uh, we've seen uh, Juan Diego Aguilar entering. Yeah, we see again now the uh, arrival of uh, the man who took uh, the fifth position. Uh, Jordi Gamito has his pass on the finish line. Uh, the uh, occasion for us to see again uh, these uh, finishers, the top uh, five. Here it's... Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Uh, here it's uh, Xavier uh, Santa Susana entering uh, with uh, hand in hand with his son. Some of the uh, arrival uh, we had uh, during uh, during the uh, interview. Trying to uh, recognize everybody. Uh, thanks to the. The big numbers, not always easy. Okay, we're back on the back on the track, back on the track. Uh, still under 20 hours uh, at the moment uh, for uh, Chila Perez. Yeah, we can uh, we recognize uh, this pass huh, where they uh, all decided uh, to walk a little bit as uh, it is uh, going up again. She still has uh, quite a, a way to go. Let's see uh, about uh, the the uh, the gap. Uh, more. Oye, 50 kilómetros, 6 horas, 28 minutos. Okay. Molt bé, desde Monroch. Yo es muy duro, ¿eh? Es muy duro, pero muy majo también, ¿eh? 6 horas, 30 minutos, menos de 6 horas, 30 minutos. Ya, de pa, now, talking with uh, Carlos uh, Salsa en Constancia. Vull dir, en cap de semana, de 10, cursa de 10. <laughs> El propio de cap de semana, cursa de 10 y no más. Cursa de 10, ya ja está, diu. Está amor, pero está muy contenta también. Muchas, muchas gracias. Ahora, ahora tens, ahora tens ahí. Y aquí Carlos, lo tenemos. Uh, finish up this uh, 50 Ks. And uh, Achila Pérez running down this uh, wooden bridge. They're going to take her down uh, on the, the track along the, the river. As you remember, she will have uh, the river on the right side for quite a while, passing uh, the wooden bridge. Our reference, why we can hear uh, the uh, the church bell ringing for a half past uh, three in a couple of minutes from now. Walking a little bit, running a little bit. We can see uh, all our cameras and uh, photographers on that uh, finish line, helping us uh, to give you, uh, giving you these uh, images and. Uh, Allowing me uh, to uh, to comment what is uh, what is going on in a great weekend uh, uh, a weekend that will be uh, definitely a reference uh, and uh, a great option to uh, prepare uh, the uh, word uh, final event uh, by uh, the UTMB final and uh, definitely because. Uh, the position in the in the calendar is absolutely uh, perfect. The UTMB uh, World Series final to be set in Chamonix in August. We're in uh, June at the end of June, so uh, it's uh, it's a very good test, and that's also a reason why a lot of uh, trailer uh, did choose to be here. And uh, I'm sure that uh, there are. Uh, their uh, example and uh, the um, the commentaries they, that they are doing, what they are saying about this uh, smashing chorus, so tough but so beautiful, demanding but also uh, a very good uh, technical test. Uh, we've been talking with many of them about uh, the occasion uh, to uh, to uh, 
to uh, improve, as uh, we were talking uh, just now with uh, our Flamant uh, winner of uh, the uh, 50Ks with uh, Ricardo Certa, taking this test to, uh, in, this, in his case, he said, to, uh, to improve uh, the, uh, the nutrition, the aspect, uh, the nutrition aspect. And uh, he said, uh, uh, it seems it's been uh, working, so uh, he's taking, up, uh, he's, uh, taking notes. Uh, and uh, that was he, what he wanted to improve, and it, the test has been good for that. Now we're going to see about uh, the uh, recoverable. There was uh, two uh, quite short distance, let's say, uh, and but uh, that it's, it was for him the, the the perfect test to be on in the at the OCC in in August. And uh, the Chila Chila Perez, here she goes. Running again, at it's a uh, uh, downhill again. Not not a very steep one, but it's still better than uh, this section that was still uh, going up, uh, like uh, 100 or 200 meters before. Here she goes along the river, in between the wooden fences. Mountains at her back, mountains on the left side, mountains at the front, and mountains on the right side. While we have a, a repetition of uh, the arrival at the top of uh, at the last uh, the last uh, refugee for uh, our uh, winner she already passed the finish line Ildiko Vermesha absolute uh, winner of the edition 2022 of the trailer 100 uh, 100 wrap by UTM beyond the distance of the 105 Ks uh, you, you see, it's true that what Zach Miller was saying about uh, all the volunteers on the ad station. Is look at them, all smiling, cleaning everything at the moment, getting everything ready for the next one. And look at uh, Sheila in uh, Sortain. We're still on the same refugee in uh, Sortain. The last uh, refugee, the last control point. Uh, we have about timing uh, for the 105 Ks. And uh, here, uh, Ch Sheila Perez, smiling, rising her arm to uh, say hello to everybody, responding to these uh, smiles. Well, well, we can hear downstairs the public uh, cheering each and every finisher. Another finisher of the 105 Ks. While uh, we get on the image is uh, Basilia first, uh, the Italian, uh, the third lady, sitting having uh, a Coke before taking the start. And as we said before, we can appreciate that it was, uh, it's really uh, windy at the moment. Yes, uh, and we're gonna get ready because uh, we we want to have a uh, another interview in uh, this case uh, with uh, Iliko Vermesha in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, we see again and again this uh, this images. We never get tired. I mean, the satisfaction after such a, a tough race. Here she is uh, showing the medal. And, uh, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and then uh, we're going to see if we can have her here in the, in the set. I don't know if that will be uh, before or after the arrival of a second lady. Maybe, maybe we can have uh, um, Iriko before. And so that will give time to the second lady to arrive, to the third lady, so they will be able to have this uh, picture at the podium. But uh, it's still a great gap uh, with, uh, with the third lady. And, uh, wow. Okay, we will see uh, which are the, the decision here. We are obviously uh, ready to receive them. Uh, honor and a pleasure. And we never miss the occasion uh, to talk uh, with our uh, winners to get their uh, 
first impression after after the race, and it's important for us because uh, we're an um, organization who want to do the best, who want to improve as much as possible from one year to another because uh, perfection is uh, is not um, is not uh, really what happened. And uh, and who wants to be completely perfect? We want to improve year after year, and obviously the uh, the uh, the opinion of uh, the winners and also of uh, the uh, uh, what we call more popular runners is important. Uh, they're in the heart of the event. We see things that they don't see, but they see things that we don't see. So uh, it's important for us to have all these uh, feedbacks and uh, to taking uh, notes to uh, improve for the next year. Uh, the proof that it was uh, quite uh, well done last year is that we doubled the inscription, as we said before, in the, the total of, uh, of the four uh, distances. Uh, difference on the, on the track, as uh, now we, uh, they decided to uh, cut the longest distance and uh, to enter the, the, the schedule and, and the shame of uh, the uh, UTMB uh, series events. And we're now on 105 k's for the long dis distance here. And we keep the eye again on the, the uh, first lady, the second lady, sorry, on her way uh, to us. And this flag that everybody knows, the flag from uh, French Brittany, La Bretagne. Uh, we have a song in French who say that uh, the Bretons, they have a round hat. And I used to say as a joke uh, that not all of them, because many of them get uh, trail uh, caps on the head. Here they are. And uh, look, they've been uh, suing on uh, the on the flag, all uh, the the um, the souvenirs of the different uh, races they are doing. They are doing together, of course. That's uh, that's beautiful. Uh, as we used to say, each and every trailer is a different adventure. It's an uh, it's an history. Uh, the reason why you're running, it's some things completely personal. Some are, some are looking for the spot, some are looking for the time, some are looking just for the experience, uh, challenging themselves. Uh, in that, uh, some for because they promise something. Uh, each and everyone got a story, and each and every story is beautiful. And the total of uh, all these stories is our story. They are making our story. Uh, they are the heart of the event. And all what we've been doing so far, all the job, uh, we see now the, uh, the result the in their eyes. And uh, the we also sharing uh, tears sometimes of happiness, of emotion. And, uh, and it's important. And uh, they, are, they are making our days and our nights and uh, they deserve uh, every little effort we are doing uh, from uh, the organization. They deserve each and every smile, the pictures. They are heroes. They are heroes of their own uh, history, heroes of, uh, who are building our history, our legend. And here she goes, running again, nonstop until the finish line. Chila Perez, the girl from Mendoza, the girl from Argentina, the girls who've been running in the massive of the Aconcagua, the highest mountains uh, over there, South America. A girl who's uh, working with uh, women. She's a sport teacher, but she's also a coach, especially for women. She has uh, a constant group of 120 women who are training with her. But it's not only about sports, it's also uh, about friendship, about sharing experience, about uh, helping each other, and um, 
she's a, a very uh, very bright person, very shining uh, person, as she herself used to say. I'm here to shine, and uh, that's what she's doing. And uh, she also have another group of women that she uh, contact uh, or contact her through uh, through our website, and uh, helping them. And she's definitely an example of herself. Look at her running, passing by the CEO now. The last uh, meters on the uh, on road before uh, she will uh, pass uh, along uh, the the parking. And we keep on uh, putting back the eyes also on the finish line where we are uh, just seeing uh, the arrival of uh, Yann Montiège, uh, the French uh, trailer. He passed the line and he sat down. He said, that's enough. <laughs> but all smiling, so really happy with his uh, result. And uh, I can hear from here uh, Depa warming the finish line because he knows that we get uh, the second lady already uh, under the bridge just after the CEO. After this uh, bridge, uh, she'll be on uh, the turnabout. People say, yes, yes, it's up there. You're on the right way. <laughs> she take the time to smile. Yes, yes, here you are. Oh, okay, that way. Yes, the stone pass. Yeah, Depa is already uh, calling her by her name. And she's, she's hearing because uh, Depa was saying, uh, come on, Sheila, run, run, run. And she started to run again on this uh, flat section before the last uh, sharp turn. You can see the houses up. And up on the left side is uh, the, the main square. Is the center, is the heart of uh, Ordino, Ordino Parish, the epicenter of uh, the, uh, you can see all the uh, iron junkie on the side, the uh, tool of uh, the uh, iron uh, handcraft. Yeah, she's putting back uh, the Argentinian uh, flag now on her shoulder. She tried to put it back earlier, but uh, it was too too early, and uh, it was not easy for her. You better get ready, guys, on the finish line. Here she comes. Yes, when uh, the clock says uh, 19 hours, 43 minutes, and uh, 29 seconds now, she will uh, under, enter 19 uh, hours and 45 minutes. There she is. You can uh, see the photograph. Taking the position. Here she is. Here she is. Come on, Sheila. Look at her. Is she or is she not a shining person? Smiling all the while. Oh, she's so happy. Look at that. Yes, you are. Celebrate, celebrate. Sheila Perez, vice champion, second lady on the 105 uh, case, stopping the clock under. 19 hours and 45 minutes. Great time for her too. Good, 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 good result. We're gonna remind uh, the the time uh, of the first lady. She finishes in the on the, the finish line. Derrochando alegría a lo largo de todo este día de todos los más de 105 kilómetros. 19 horas y 44 minutos para la segunda clasificada en la prueba de 105 kilómetros. And uh, 11 seconds for uh, Ildiko on the finish line. So uh, less than, uh, let's say about 20 minutes a gap in uh, between both blonde girls. Smiling together for, uh, for a nice aplauso. picture, Entre los diez and uh, todavía. we will uh, wait uh, for the for the third lady. We remind you, it will be uh, again an international podium. We're waiting uh, for the Italian uh, Basilia Firster. We've seen her on uh, the Sorten uh, in Sorten Refugee. Let's go. El with micro the para interview. nosotros, el mundo expectante de que nos cuentes cómo te sientes. Me siento muy bien. Me siento... ¿Sabes qué sentí? 
que Andorra era como, a ver, que sus montañas que hacen, hacen que tus piernas lleguen a su punto límite, pero el alma se sana. Sentí eso con esta naturaleza divina y me sentí tan bien. Me gustó mucho estar acá, así que gracias. Le gustó mucho estar acá, alma, corazón, fuerza, pero chila. También un grandísimo tiempo, ¿eh? 19 horas 44 minutos, segunda... ¡Páralo, páralo, páralo! Se... Segunda clasificada, una, una gran carrera, un gran trabajo. ¿Pensabas estar ahí delante eh, luchando por la victoria? No, es que nunca pienso eso. Yo vengo a disfrutar y a correr. Pero fue una carrera muy linda. Desde que salí me sentí muy cómoda. Al principio fui primera hasta no sé qué kilómetro habré ido. Y después mucho tiempo... Fui todo el tiempo con mi... Com y ella. Ildico. Con ella. Ildico. <risa> con ella fui un montón de tiempo y compartimos un montón del sendero. Y después, bueno, en un ratito nos distanciamos y bueno, ya se fue. Pero hermoso poder compartir aparte de la carrera con ella y con un montón de personas que te vas cruzando en la montaña. Oye, se te veía, llegabas a cada habituallamiento, saltabas, levantabas los brazos, te abrazabas prácticamente a los voluntarios. ¿Y esa energía de dónde sale? ¿Has traído vino de Mendoza aquí y lo llevabas en el Camelback o algo así o qué? No, vino no traje. El chico que me acompañó en la bici también. Casi lo abrazo. <risa> y me hice amiga, charlamos. Eh, yo soy así. Me gusta sociabilizar, me gusta hablar con la gente y me gusta tener muchos amigos. Y te queremos, te queremos así, Chila. Gracias. gracias. Muchísimas gracias, Chila Pérez, ahí la tiene, una grandísima campeona desde Chila, ven que te quieren saludar por aquí, una grandísima campeona desde Mendoza, desde Argentina, desde la región de las montañas, la región de la Concagua, la región de la montaña más alta, más allá de Asia, esos 6.963 metros del centinela de piedra, desde allí viene hasta aquí, hasta el país de las montañas, Chila Pérez. Vamos a darle un poquito de música, que ya son las 3 de la tarde. Vamos a darle un poquito de ambiente. Vamos a que nuestro DJ de cabecera, Tony, que está aquí marcando el ritmo y haciéndonos bailar a lo largo de todo este día. Así que venga, vamos a subir un poquito el volumen y vamos a ir despertando, que es hora de vivir la fiesta aquí en Andorra. ¡Vámonos! Ritmo de palma. Parece que va a ser Ángel Llovera, la corredora de Mallorca de Poyensa, que iba en primera posición. Vamos a ver si es así. Y tenemos su paso por la zona de Six Point. Mientras en categoría general 
de hombres en la carrera de 50 kilómetros. Tenemos ya el meta octavo. Fue Fran Moreno en llegar a meta. Pues Jordi. Okay, yeah, we are we are ready. Yes, yes. Hi. Okay, we're here uh, with uh, our uh, fantastic winner of the 105Ks on the, the ladies' race, uh, Ildiko Vermesha from uh, Hungary. And uh, Ildiko says she's uh, much more comfortable in German. So I'm going to do my best and we're going to have this uh, interview in German. So, erst uh, uh, gratulieren. Iliko, ein, äh, ein äh, großer Tag heute, äh, gestern und heute, das sind zwei Tage mit einer äh, ein Nacht. Äh, meine erste Frage ist, äh, gestern am Start, denkst du, äh, dass äh, äh, sie will heute Gewinner sein oder, oder nicht? Äh, erst vielen Dank für die, für die Gratulation. Äh, Gestern habe ich gar nicht gedacht, dass ich erste, als erste Frau ins Ziel komme. Ich laufe immer einfach mein Rennen äh, und mich interessieren äh, die anderen Teilnehmer nicht. Mhm. Äh, während des Rennen schaue ich, wie mir es geht und Mhm. Ja, heute hat es gut, gut geklappt. Ja, ja. Äh, sie startet zweite, ich glaube, und dann äh, sie äh, kommen erste. Äh, dann äh, die, äh, die was, was denkst du? Ich gehe mit einer anderen Frage. Was denkst du äh, für die äh, Trek? Der Trek. Äh, war das schön? War das ah, sehr die, technisch? Das schwer? Die Strecke hat mir sehr gut gefallen. Äh, einfach Andorra ist landschaftlich wunderschön und äh, die Strecke war wirklich anspruchsvoll, so wie wir Trailrunner das äh, mögen. Ist, das, ja? das war su super technisch, mhm. schwer, steil. Ja, mir hat es gut gefallen. Denkst du, es, äh, ist, ein, es ist ein äh, guter Test für äh, August, für äh, UTMB? Äh, auf jeden Fall. Im August werde ich nicht UTMB, sondern TDS laufen. Mhm. Und das war ja sehr, sehr gutes Training, weil der TDS ist auch äh, fast genauso technisch wie hier. Aber äh, hier die Strecke ist schwieriger als TDS. Ja, 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 ja. ja. Oh, und äh, äh, mhm. in diesem Moment, äh, du bist äh, unserem Gewinner für 2022. Äh, denkst du, es ist möglich, äh, sie kommen zurück, du kommst zurück äh, nächstes Jahr hier in Andorra? Ja, sehr gerne. Ja? Sehr gerne. Andorra, mir gefällt es. Äh, sehr gut. Uh, was, ist, uh, uh, was haben Sie im uh, Kalender next vor uh, 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 Chamonix? Haben Sie etwas uh, uh, zwischen uh, hier und uh, Chamonix? Ja, in zwei Wochen uh, möchte ich starten uh, in Corsica, das Restornica Trail. Und vielleicht noch Ende Juli den Montreux Trail Festival. <lacht> und dann TDS. <lacht> ein, ein ganzer äh, ganz, äh, Kalender. Äh, so, äh, viel äh, gratulieren noch einmal und äh, äh, wir wünschen Sie äh, viel Glück, viel Spaß in, in Andorra. Bleiben Sie äh, eine, einigen äh, Tagen mehr? 
Nein, leider morgen muss ich zurück nach Deutschland, aber ich war hier vor zwei Wochen. Zwei Wochen, ja. Ja, äh, vor zwei Wochen äh, war ich da, mhm. eine Woche und da habe ich mir die Strecke angeschaut. Ah, ey, du, du denkst, es ist eine gute Idee? Ja, es ist, auf, ja jeden, es ist ein auf jeden Fall, ja. Da, ja, das war... Vorteil. Ich konnte gut meine Kräfte einteilen. Ja, äh, sag Miller, wo ist unser Gewinner für Männer? Äh, er hat dasselbe gesagt. Er war hier für zwei Wochen mhm. und er hat Zeit, äh, um äh, die ganze Strecke zu sehen. Section by Section, aber er hat gesagt, dass das war sehr gut, wenn du, wenn du kennst die, die Strecke vor, vor Start. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Okay, gratulieren. Vielen Dank äh, für Ihr Sein mit uns und äh, wir wünschen Sie äh, alles gut für, für die nächste Woche und äh, wir will sehen äh, wir in, äh, in Chamonix in August. Herzlichen Dank. Vielen Dank. So uh, very quickly, uh, I go on the, a little translation about uh, a shorter, about what she said, just that she's uh, very happy. She loved the course. Uh, she'll be in uh, Restorica and in, uh, in Restonica and in Montreux very, uh, in the next uh, weeks. And then we will see her in Chamonix. She said thank you and we wished her all the best. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you with uh, Depa for the uh, recap of the day. Thank you, everybody. It's been a pleasure to be with you on the streaming uh, on this weekend. Uh, we hope uh, to have you again very soon. Enjoy the weekend. Pues eh, de nuevo, eh, muchísimas gracias por, por esta atención que nos estáis prestando aquí a lo largo de toda esta retransmisión, el streaming que estamos teniendo. Ahora estamos aquí en el set, en el plató de televisión del streaming en directo, donde eh, hemos visto en un momento la llegada de las dos primeras chicas de la prueba de 105. Está a punto de llegar también la tercera, la tercera clasificada, pero nos vamos a recuperar las imágenes para que podamos ver y que podáis ver esa reactualización de lo que fue la salida ayer de la prueba de 105 kilómetros. Salía ayer, os lo recordamos, aquí a las 7 de la tarde y ahí teníamos esta mañana la llegada con 14 horas y 19 minutos del ganador del corredor norteamericano de Zach Miller que le veíamos llegando, apretando fuerte el corredor de North Face, que se reencuentra con la victoria, que se reencuentra también con las carreras aquí en Europa, donde ya fue vencedor en la CCC, fue vencedor en la Varedo, fue vencedor también en la Mute, en Madeira. El segundo clasificado desde Noruega, ampliando ese podio internacional. Ahí le teníamos, ahí estaba... Sebastián, que el año pasado, Sebastián el año pasado fue segundo, Sebastián Kroglik fue el año pasado, perdón, primero en la TDS, en la segunda prueba más larga del programa del UTMB y tercero entraba soplando y resoplando como podía. Nos decía en la entrevista que le habíamos hecho nada más llegar a la línea 
de, de meta. Ionel Cristian Manole decía que había tenido grandes problemas estomacales a lo largo de, de los kilómetros. Ahí está la medalla que le impone Joan Torné, eh, que es el director de carrera, el director de recorrido. Y ahí teníamos la subida a podio de Zach Miller, de Sebastián Kroglik y de... Lionel Cristian Manol, este ha sido el podio en la carrera de 105, bien es cierto que en la categoría femenina todavía no tenemos el podio completo, ha llegado a meta Ildiko Wersmercher, ha llegado a meta Chila Pérez y tenemos a la tercera corredora que todavía no ha llegado a meta y que la estamos esperando verdaderamente aquí para completar ese podio en la categoría femenina en la prueba de 105 kilómetros. Ahí veíamos esas imágenes, ahí estamos viendo esas imágenes de Ildiko Bersmercher llegando al último punto de habituallamiento. Venía detrás de ella Chila Pérez y la tercera clasificada que todavía no ha llegado a línea de meta y que se la espera en aproximadamente 15 minutos es la corredora italiana Basilia Forster que se espera su llegada a las 15 horas y 19 minutos. Veamos cómo Ildico en el habituallamiento de Sortein cogía rápidamente el habituallamiento y salía. Imágenes también de la llegada a meta de Gerard Black y Morales. Decimos segunda posición para, para él. Decimos segundo puesto. Y esas imágenes ahora acompañando y viendo el buen flow, el buen rollo que ha demostrado a lo largo de todos estos 105 kilómetros de esas más de 19 horas, 19 horas y 43 minutos que ha tardado la corredora argentina Chila Pérez, la mendocina, que la vemos ahí cumpliendo esos últimos metros de su vida ya como podía, pero con la alegría de estar asegurando esa segunda plaza en Sortein, en el último punto de control, en el último punto de habituamiento, en el que ni siquiera hizo una parada, se puso a correr y avanzó, porque por delante tenía, ahí la veis, a la corredora de Oca, a la alemana, a Ildiko, que iba marcando el tiempo a lo largo de buena parte de la carrera. Es verdad que al principio fue Chila la que mandó la carrera, luego fue... Durante muchos kilómetros iban juntas Ildiko y, y Chila y luego fue Ildiko la que marcó las distancias y marcó las diferencias. Ildiko, que come, el año pasado fue tercera en TDS, tercera clasificada en la carrera del UTMB, en la carrera de Chamonix, el último fin de semana de agosto y este año ya ha ganado Istria y se retiró en Transgran Canaria. Ricardo Cherta, ganador de la carrera con 5 horas y 22 minutos, ganador de la carrera de 50 kilómetros, el corredor castellonense que fue tercero hace dos semanas en Loya de Nuria, también estuvo corriendo por aquí un kilómetro vertical en Andorra y que no se quiso perder la carrera, no se quiso perder esta prueba de 50 kilómetros. Ricardo Cherta, uno de los corredores más en forma también del panorama nacional, un joven corredor que ya está llegando a la madurez deportiva, este año ha sido tercero en Loya de Nuria, podio, está entre los mejores a nivel nacional y va a correr también este año en la OCC en Chamonix, la última semana de el mes de agosto. Ahí tenemos al primer corredor andorrano que llegó a línea de meta, segunda posición pisando en los talones a Ricardo Cherta porque los tres han llegado en un tiempo muy, muy próximo. Es Martí Lázaro, el corredor andorrano, que lo decía. Es la primera vez en una carrera que pasó al lado de, de casa. Ahí tiene la medalla que le impone la organización. Y Paul Matou, el corredor francés, que cierra el podio. Los tres primeros en la categoría, los tres primeros en la prueba de 50 kilómetros lo han hecho con una diferencia de cuatro minutos entre el primero, entre Ricardo Cherta y Paul Matou, el corredor francés que llegaba en tercera posición cerrando el podio. Paul Matou también 
un corredor eh, acostumbrado a estar en puestos de cabeza, acostumbrado incluso a victorias como fue aquel año 2020, la principal victoria quizás de la carrera de Paul Matou en el mes de septiembre ganó en Utkan Côte d'Azur, en el Mercantour, en esa carrera en los Pirineos, en los Pirineos Marítimos. Y ahí llegaba Mar Solea Medjer también, que hacía así, decía que era una carrera muy dura y ahí le teníamos, mientras se entregaban los podios, se entregaban los premios, las medallas, a los tres primeros de la prueba de 50 kilómetros, Mar Solé a Medjer llegaba a línea de meta. Ese es el podio, ahí les tienen Ricardo Cherta en lo más alto, ganador de la carrera de 50 kilómetros Martí, que llegaba en segunda posición y Paul Matú en tercera. Vamos a ver esos últimos kilómetros, vamos a acompañaros en esos últimos kilómetros de Ildico, llegando ya ahí, a la localidad de Ordino, donde está situada esta línea de meta de este Trail 100 Andorra. Y ahí tenemos a Basilia Forsberg, que viene en tercera posición. Fijaros el ritmo ya, el cansancio que llevaba la corredora italiana, llegó al habituallamiento de Sortein, se sienta, está tomando algo, hidratándose, metiéndose un poco de cafeína también, algo que le iba a venir muy bien para los últimos 8 kilómetros, que son los que restan desde ese punto de habituallamiento que abandona ahora mismo la italiana, pero que en cabeza de carrera seguía Ildico, marcando ya las diferencias, ya con Ordino, con el olor de la meta y también con el sonido de la fiesta, ...que se está viviendo en esta meta de Ordino. Ahí giraba, entraba ya en las calles... ...de la localidad de Ordino... ...para afrontar los últimos, últimos metros... ...mientras corredores que seguían llegando... ...a línea de meta, que seguían haciendo... ...su entrada después de competir, como en este caso... ...sobre 105 kilómetros... Y más de 19 horas ya, porque 19 horas es lo que ha marcado la ganadora en categoría femenina. 19 horas y 18 minutos acompañándola en estos últimos tramos. Este Trail 100 Andorra, en esta versión larga, otorga 4 puntos. Llegada de Jordi Gamito, quinto clasificado en la prueba de 50 kilómetros. Ahí tienen al de Playa Daro, que viene, que entró en quinta posición a la línea de meta y que lo hizo también muy bien en la prueba de 50 kilómetros. Decíamos que este Trail 100 Andorra, en su versión larga, en su versión de ultra, otorga cuatro running points a los corredores que terminan la carrera y a los tres primeros les da acceso directo al ultra trail del Mont Blanc con esa invitación por la organización. Así que los cuatro puntos que otorga a todos los finisher es la única carrera del mundo que con 100 kilómetros da cuatro running stones para todos los finalistas y todos los que crucen este arco de meta de Ordino. Como lo hizo ahí eh, Ildiko Bosmercher, que llegaba a meta con esas 19 horas y 15 minutos aproximadamente en primera posición en categoría femenina. Eran 19 horas, 18 minutos, 11 segundos concretamente. Y vamos, bueno, ahí seguimos viendo a los corredores de la prueba de 50 kilómetros que siguen llegando, que siguen entrando a línea de meta. Se van intercalando ya con el dorsal rojo los corredores de la prueba de 50 kilómetros que también otorga en este caso tres running stones a los corredores que completan la carrera, que completan la, la prueba y que van a tener la oportunidad de entrar en el sorteo para esa preinscripción que ya está abierta para Chamonix para el año 2023 abierto para el UTMB, no importa Claro, eh, eso hay que explicarlo también un poquito, ¿no? Porque no importa que ahora te hagas la prescripción aún no teniendo, aún no teniendo 
eh, esos running stones necesarios. Aún no teniendo ese index, ese, esa puntuación de UTMB necesaria para llegar a la, a la carrera de Chamonix. Pero sí que es verdad que pues, se puede hacer ya la prescripción. Impresionante la llegada de Ángel Llovera, 7 horas y 10 minutos, la ganadora de la carrera femenina Sonríe, llega a meta, Ángel Llovera, ganadora en la prueba de 50 kilómetros, la mallorquina, la, corre, la estamos viendo femenina. en imágenes, la Quiere corredora entrada. de Pollensa que Quiere acaba entrada. de entrar en estos momentos a línea de meta, de lo ha dado todo, nos decía en la salida que su objetivo Vos era... Va a andar sobre las 8 horas, 8 horas y media, 7 horas, 10 minutos. Es el tiempo que ha marcado la corredora del Inofe Internacional haciendo una grandísima carrera. Este año ya ha estado, ha ganado en el Trail Quiroga, en Galicia. Entró en el podio también en la Trail Peneda Jerez en segunda posición. Ganó también en la Costa Brava, ganó también... En el trail de Costa Brava y ahí la tenemos que lo ha dado absolutamente todo. Feliz, ha tenido feliz, también a, a su hija Aona que ha estado haciéndole para, la a, asistencia. Si grande. Ahí está Aona que Santa le saluda a Ángel, se la abrazo entre madre e hija. Ona que le ha estado haciendo la qué asistencia bonito, también a Ángel. Qué bonitas imágenes de las dos llegando a línea de meta. Impresionante, Ángel Llovera que ha hecho una grandísima carrera, 7 horas y 10 minutos para la mallorquina que se sienta que ha llegado realmente perjudicada, pero lo ha dado todo, ha hecho un carrerón en menos de 8 horas, en 7 horas y 10 minutos llegar y cruzar esa línea de meta. Pues estamos a punto de despedirnos de vosotros en esta emisión en directo con este último minuto. Vamos a soltar el vídeo de la llegada. Ahí lo tienen. Llega Zach Miller a meta. Impresionante. Mientras agradecemos a nuestros compañeros del servicio técnico, a la dirección, a la producción de toda la retransmisión que hemos estado haciendo con vosotros a lo largo de este día de estas prácticamente 24 horas que comenzaron ayer a las 6 y media de la tarde dábamos la salida a las 7 llegaba Zach Miller, llega también Ricardo Cherta, el castellonense que llega en la prueba de 50 kilómetros ganador, ahí tenemos el vídeo también del campeón de la prueba de 50 kilómetros con un tiempo de 5 horas y 22 minutos ellos son los ganadores de las dos pruebas de la prueba de 50 y de la prueba de 105 kilómetros. Indico Wormercher en la pantalla con todos ustedes, la corredora del equipo OCA Internacional, la alemana que levanta la cinta, que se lleva la victoria con un tiempo de 19 horas y 18 minutos en esta prueba de Trail 100 Andorra, prueba de 105 kilómetros, la ganadora en la categoría femenina de la prueba larga y nos vamos a despedir, nos vamos a despedir de todas ustedes, de todos ustedes, muchísimas gracias por la atención y gracias por habernos seguido.